And Milk always dies. Pardon? There was just a brief hiccup. Yeah, I hate when the internet does that. Can you grab me a popsicle? These are tiny. Thank you. You're still working on that? Yes, I am on the meat. Remember, you have to have balanced diet. Five I'm people watching. Because I Let's really like this game. The death. I really, literally, the death. I really loved um, the Dark Sider series. It's like adult version of Legend of Zelda, and it's actually. Like I, I really like the Dark Souls series, but really, the Dark Souls one. I'm very weird. And Dark Souls 3 was actually kind of easy. Yeah, still, still doesn't catch off as much as Dark Souls 1. No, I don't think this is the one for the Dark Souls 1. I don't like getting pissed off. Yeah, I still, yeah. I still want to learn to play some Dark Souls at this point, really. I, I don't know what, I would really like to see how she would get past the first boss. I would not want to see Luna Read have a fucking, a fucking just grab her bunnies and just, just hold them close to her. Well, and, like, well there's a, it's, I, can, I can tell her one very easy way to do it. Use black fire bombs. Dodge all of its attacks. Whatever it right after it attacks throw a firebomb. I don't know, like I don't I like to play games for fun. Yeah. For for me getting my ass kicked is fun. Hit Dark Souls. If you want, I could kick your ass without playing a game. Just kick. Yeah. Mm. Exactly. And you, you feel so elated to actually have beaten the fucker. 
You know I had people ask me why I didn't kick you in the nuts? Do you know that? Like, why are you kicking him in the nuts? I'm so nice. Funny Jace, he's like, Can I watch? I'm so glad I got Luna into oh, I'm so glad I got Gary to play Skyrim on the PC. It, it's a lot more interesting to watch than you know on the, the 360. And I my computer couldn't handle it, so I have to play it on console, so I don't have a choice. I could I used to be able to play it. Skyrim on, on like my toaster of a PC. Um, it, it used a NVIDIA GT 330M, which was a very old graphics card, and it played Skyrim just fine. Oh God, there's a blue circle. Yeah, I hate the blue circle. It's usually when the mouse is there. I literally threw a bitch fit one day because Jeremy left the blue circle on the screen. In the middle, and it kept spinning and spinning and spinning, and oh, I just wanted to like rip someone's head off. It was a drow me nuts. It's kind of like when Hello. water drips. I kept dripping. This is a good response. Yep. My mama. And it's funny, it's good that I have good friends. Like you guys, like seriously, I'd be oh. lost without you people. Seriously, Twitch has saved my life more than once. Oh, well, I am very genuine. I mean, I usually people have told me I should be a counselor before, but uh, just never was. I have other ideas for my life. If I were to go into the health, um, I would become a doctor. Like a doctor, doctor. Sorry. Goddamn music is just fucking stuck in my head now. Don't knock me off, Esburn. But yeah, I am. Um, I'm so glad he moved the monitor where he moved it to. It's going out of my mind. Wow, that fucking IFU noise sounded kind of just sort of like. Yeah, I have over a thousand friends on IMBU. I have none, except a few. Like you and us. I don't go on there much. I don't know why you added me, but it's nice. I don't go on there much because of the fucking drama. Drama so, is everywhere. I don't think you can escape that. There has been uh, times where I have. It's called taking a walk and sitting in a creek bed for an hour. No drama there. I mean, you'd literally have to, like, hide in a closet. I did. Hell, for the past ten time when I was dating people what is while it? dating this girl, <laughs> you know, I'd be I'd, I would be talking to her on my phone in the closet and ignoring everybody around me. I don't know, like Alright back. Welcome back. Oh my god, Jay uh, Jay's is like doctor, doctor, I know that's why I laughed. Oh god, thank you, Jay. Oh, because I was saying because Oh, uh, earlier, like not even a second ago, when you le uh, left, and I'm like, I said something, and Carrie started laughing, and then, I then I said doctor, doctor, when she said something about a doctor, and then fucking Jace finished the rest of it for me. Oh, I, I gotta remember what the song was again that you wanted me to sing. Me or her? I don't know. 
Let's keep moving. I don't fucking sing. I have. Uh, okay. Yeah. It was Le Poisson. Le When I laugh, one of my laughs. Mmm, it's AC popsicle. Mmm. This better be the weird Al Yankovic version. The what? I said this better be a weird Al Yankovic version of the song. I can't hear anything. I can hear everything. It's like I could add fun. Cause you're all knowing? Oh, are you afraid of are you afraid of thunder? Are you kidding me? This is so your song because you get everything from like goodwill. I thought you played that on purpose. No, I didn't. Somebody started, started a song up behind you. What, in Carrie's room? Yeah. I hate when people randomly <laughs> fucking play music. Yeah. Jay's ears are funny. funny. I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought Ray did it. <laughs> I'm, not in, I, I'm not even, I'm not on IMU, so I couldn't do it. I thought you just brought up a random song. Nope. I love that song, you know, that's one of my favorite songs, yeah. so. This is, this is the music I usually listen to. This is War Warhammer Forty K music right here. Crimson Nern root right here, this Nern root. You can sell it for really good in the store. I thought you said nerd. Nerd root. The girl is nerds. I love nerds. Those are some of the type of kids. I fucking love them too. Sweet tarts, nerds, and god stuff. Return my babies. Charleston shoes. Nerds. I do the Charleston. And twins. Those are those are my three main styles. Although granted, I don't like that much candy. Let's keep moving. Any ice cream. What's your favorite type of ice cream? Mm, 
let's see here. I like Neapolitan, uh, Neapolitan only for the strawberry and the vanilla. I love cookies and cream. Like chocolate, uh, chocolate makes me sick. Cookies and cream is very nice. Yeah, cookies and cream, um... Mint chocolate chip is my bay though. Oh my god. I, I used to love it. mint chocolate chip. And then I like cotton candy and birthday cake now. Oh, uh, uh, fucking uh, bubble gum is another favorite that I like. I like Rocky Road as well. And get over here, you little butthole. There you go. Vanilla with hot fudge. I'm not sure why, but that one seems to be like a standard for me. Besides cotton candy. I saw that in the Terminator. funny if someone did that, rip someone's arm off and then beat him with it. <laughs> it's, it's like Harry ripping off my fucking leg and just be shoving it up my ass making me kick my own ass. Yeah. I mean... Although, like... I've been creative in roleplay with RP deaths. You don't want to know how I did them. Most of them on the account you know me on are honorable, but a lot of them I don't really role play are kind of mean. I just did that little role play thing with Jay's because I was bored and I just, I just felt like it. Yeah. I just don't like role playing anymore. Like, wow, Pandora is apparently putting a listening limit to how many hours you can listen to in a month. Really? That's bullshit. Pandora is gonna go under. Exactly. Although sometimes I do go a little bit overboard with my stuff. 
Not really. I've, I've seen pretty bad, and that's not bad at all. How my picture for the longest time was you're gonna get purged. It's raining uh, hard, Jill. Uh, well, I hear a nerd nearby. I wish you guys would take screenshots instead of sending me the photos so I don't have to delete everything, guys. I know, it's just, you know, MacBook Air doesn't have enough room. I mean, you can, it just it takes forever. This thing was so loud. Well, I just didn't accept it. No, I just didn't accept the file because I haven't been able to yet. Sweet Michael. At least, I, at least I didn't call her Mariah Carey. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. That was bad. Fucking horrible. I need to die in a fire. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've heard that joke before, but Carrie is spelled K E R R Y. I'm named after a place called County Carrie.
County Kerry is in Ireland. It's in the Ring of Kerry. It's a series of islands that um, that are literally the series of islands that I, islands in Ireland that people go to vacation because it's pretty there. My dad wanted a pretty name, like a pretty Irish name for his daughter, and um, he settled with Carrie. Bagel? Sex, Yeah, we, um, our mascot for, our mascot for my school was the Hustlers. The Hustlers. The Hustlers. Mine were the Governors, although our mascot was Snoopy. Go for it. Snoopy, really? We don't. And not kidding, Johnson, Johnson Senior High School. Most good, most good school in St. Paul. We had Snoopy as our mascot. <laughs> Did they really have Snoopy, or was it just something that looked like Snoopy? Well, I'm not quite sure. I think it was a mock-up of Snoopy. It was, very, it was like maybe slightly different. But it was the overall shape and color scheme of Snoopy. Except he, uh, he had um, an MP3 player and stuff. Yeah, ours was um, the B. funny because our school is um was catholic and they're named you know the hustlers yeah which made it even funnier because But yeah, so they uh, literally named us the Hustlers because they're, um, so we like, we had this, the, at the time the school opened, the fastest plane was like the B-58 or whatever it's called, and so they literally just took it and, uh, they, they, the plane was called the Hustler. Because it was like it moved fast. Let's keep moving. But there was a bee on the plane. So that's why. Every day I'm hustling. Yeah, but the parents got mad because it's like a Catholic school and you know, hustler is like a pimp. So But they renamed the dance team the Stingers.
Yeah, that's Bo's penis. Hey, Cliche, how's it going? Lead on to Skyhaven Temple. I like how it's a wall of mods. That's funny how we're all like mods. Well, I, I'm I make people mods who I think deserve to be mods, you know. Yeah, I've had people be like, show me your tits. And you know what? I'm like, dude, I mean, Mike has a better, chi a better chance of seeing them than you, so get the fuck lost, stupid little squeaker. The I went to their fucking teenage boys and never seen pussy. Mike's Love never me. even seen my tits ever, and I've known him years. Yeah. I know, but I said he has a better, he has a better chance of seeing them than those little fucking ass hats. Mm. Yeah, and I will never ask to see them until, you know. Do whatever. I, I can see I can see you guys back together though eventually. I just have a good feeling about it. I X O X I X O I O X says bunny in YouTube. He he said what? Bunny, U N N E H with a tongue sticking out thing, thumbs up guy. Bunnies. Yeah, congrats to your mom. Bunny says, Yay! Clap, 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 clap. Although you said fat, 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 fat. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, both walls has to fat, 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 fat. Durango in the snake. Let's keep moving. There, there, uh, jerkin the gherkin. Nice, Bunny. She's playing with her boobies. Mmm. Now she's got creamy. But dude, like everybody notices this bunny for some reason. Like what? Notice me, senpai. Yeah, if you hurt Luna, put him up. Put him up. <laughs> That sounds worse, cream. Creaming the rabbit. That's oh, all good in a freaking hand job. <laughs> <laughs> or you, you know, covering it, you know. 
The funny part is the names of these bunnies all sound sexual, and I didn't even, like... I mean, like, they fit the bunnies because, like, you know... Yeah, Bun Bun, you know, she's a, like, that fits her because she's a bunny, but the other one, Floppy, sounds sexual. Because, you know, Floppy Penis. Yeah, well, he, that's why he's named Floppy, because he has floppy ears, but. I've never owned a pet rabbit, to be honest. Poor bunnies. I've owned dogs. You want dogs? Yeah. You want the dogs? Out of all of them, my favorite breed is, of course, the pit bulls. Y you like pit bulls? I like. I, I like. I like pit bulls. They're more of a Stafford, Staffordshire Terrier slash pit bulls. I don't like pit bulls. They're kind of scary looking. Yeah, they're they're scary looking, but uh, they're really nice. I know people that I, got I, bit I, by pit bulls, and they were like. Had like major any injuries. I'd rather have like you know. I'd rather have a baby. I just, I'm allergic to animals. Yeah, I know. That's good, are, cliche. Pitbull babies, don't, pitbull babies don't do anything wrong. I'll I'd rather have a regular baby that can, like, give me grandbabies when I'm old. That would be nice, but I have, seen, I have seen a pug just attack people for no reason. Yeah, those things are scary looking. Pugs are weird looking. It looks like their truck got smashed, their face got smashed in with a fucking uh, mallet or something. But they're adorable. My sister's grandma, not my grandma, my sister's grandma, because we have different fathers. Um, she had one vicious little pug that that actually bit hard enough, you know. A or shit zoo. Or whatever the fuck it was. His name was Mr. He tried, Wiggles. He tried to eat three cats. <laughs> and the funny thing is, this his name was Mr. Wiggles, and Mr. Wiggles doesn't take shit from nobody. He fucking ripped, almost ripped my goddamn finger off. He, oh, when he scratched his ass against something, he'd be like, rrr, rrr, rrr. like he was like, pump dry humping something mm. ferociously, like he was gang raping that fucking chair. I've had, I've had a lot more vicious little dogs than I have had vicious big dogs. For vicious big dogs, I've had zero. For vicious little dogs, I've had a three out of five. Michael's my daddy, and fucking, um, Gary's my mom. Just joking. Gary's more like a big sister, but she feels like a mother figure, even if she's older than me. 
by one year. <laughs> I'm 26, I'll be 27. And I am younger than you. Yep. That, mean, that makes me, I could be fucking Carrie's dad because of one year older than you. One year young. Actually, she would be more likely my mother because she's a year Let's older than me. Well, RPs can do it many different ways. Yeah, the, the funny thing is that um, I don't ask for people to donate money in my chat at all. And somebody only, do uh, one of my friends, decided to donate me a dollar forty-seven. I'm like, I could buy a fucking piece, oh, one of those Arizona teas with that money, with, for a dollar. So I only have one dollar in my, my girlfriend gave me her PayPal account, so I only have one dollar in my fucking name right now. Like, in the bank, I have a shit ton of money, but... I have a bunch of money, but right now it's government locked. Because they don't, they don't want me to spend the money. Oh, you know, because you know... You're not old enough to have it yet, are no, you? No, I am old enough. I'm well beyond the age, but the problem is, it's SSI, and they don't want you to spend it on things like, you know, like IMD or Xbox One or anything like that. It's more meant for food, base, and clothes. Yes, yeah, and after a certain amount of months, that money becomes, you know, that money can disappear. Why don't you and ask it, your mom it, for the money? I don't know, especially, I mean... Especially after, after a certain amount of months, with that back pay still there, he will refuse to give me any SSI checks so that back pay is gone. Buy a shit ton of shirts. And then the funny thing is, I could actually override that system easily. They told me I can't buy it. Like, you know... I'm gonna end up... I, I was gonna say, I figured out a way to do it. I mean, I have gotten carry stuff before, and I had to have the carry, it's just, you know, Alright, I'll go to my favorite clothing shop and then spend it so I'm still getting something I like. I'll go to sharkrobot.com and buy a shit ton of shirts and like, you know, stuff I, like that that I would want. I bought Carrie. I bought Carrie like, about a front game and stuff. That's, I have to do it in small increments though. Like trying to, you know, 100, 150 here and there. Not like a thousand at once like I did with getting the Xbox One and the computer and everything. I didn't want- okay, I'm gonna mount this death machine. Alright, let's go. It would be nice if you had like- a, It would be nice if you had a way to reach you, you know, like a phone. Who's that? The emergency. Yep. Yeah, you gotta get it. Does, it, doesn't even, it doesn't even have Wi Fi. So I can't even call people on it. Or I can't even do a, a wireless phone call on it. Which what you can do nowadays is absolutely free to do a wireless phone call with the, with the right, right, white, with the right apps. Sorry. Yeah, if you had an iPod Touch, you would be able to call. That's why I was telling you you should get, you know, like an iPod. Yeah, well, there's certain other things that have to come first. Like, you know, anything that you want to do would have to come first before my, before my own needs and stuff. Anything like, what? Like, I said anything, anything that you would want has to would come before my own needs, like... Mike's like one of those people, you remind me of my other ex-boyfriend who is my best
Holy shit, I made it to made that jump. Holy crap. I had to it jump only, on this chain over on the It's only a special snowflake if you can actually make it up to like the 60 and 70k mark. Like maybe like 10 people are actually at 60 to 70k DPS. Jeez. Because it's just that hard to get the items for it. My items are all built around tanking, and my Mark 12 items can be your Mark 14 DPS items. I use a full Borg set, which may not be the best shields in the game, but they can piss you the fuck off. <laughs> because they regenerate just that fast. Especially when you activate its multi-regenerative shield array, to where it actually absorbs the shots to make them stronger. Yeah, it, you, it transfers the energy into shield energy, so it constantly, yeah. uh, so then, every time they fire... And then I have abilities that, you know, do things like, uh, drain your, drain your damage output and accuracy and stuff. Yes. As well as, as well as things that, you know, like reverse shield polarity, which allows me to use your shots to strengthen my shields instead of you weakening them. So my, my stuff, while it may not be able to kill you, it certainly can tie you down long enough for my teammates to. See, very few people go for the tanky belts. Because no one likes to be the tank. I enjoy being the tank. It, for me, it, it, it's, a, it's a style that's, you know, very rarely used and, frankly, more fun. Exactly. I didn't want to survive for, tw for 12 minutes under, against an onslaught of three different people, all with that dead above 20k DPS. And I fought them off. Granted, I made myself slightly weaker than I should have. Because I did a saucer separation. You, you remember what saucer separation is, right? No. Um, it's where, it's where the, uh, you know what the saucer is of the, of the starships, right? Yeah, it Star Trek separates Trek. from the engines and shit. Mm -hmm. it, can become, it can become yeah. its own separate ship. Yeah, I used that, which, which weakens my health issue by about 10%. Yes, but these are very symbols. Yeah, let's see. And it allows me to do for King, very fun things like my uh, phaser lance shotgun. And of course, the symbol for dragon blood. Nice. One that uh, appears to have a sort of arrow right? pointing nope. down. Uh, do you know the Galaxy X Dreadnought? Yes, that's no. it. Okay, well, the symbol of the like pillar on the left. version of a uh, regular phaser, capable of doing a ton of damage. But your phaser's Given not that Sky Haven Temple was against the return of like that, I will try turning all the I'm pillars to, to that are, symbol. Those are the uh, statue things, I don't know what they are. Well, they're like Whatever you did, it worked. Let's see what those old blades left in our way. Are you supposed to get them all to align correctly or something? They wanted them all to be dragonborn. Mm. Have you done this one mission? It's been so long since I actually did the storyline of Skyrim, I honestly cannot remember. Same here. Like seriously, I used to play the game all the fucking time, and I now I don't play the game. I just, I just don't play. I thought I was supposed to not yeah, get. You have to follow. You have to follow the dragon horse horn symbols. I can see the path from here. I thought that pressure plates don't get a. I don't affect pressure plates. Uh, you do when they are when they are you know, needed for a puzzle. Oh. This one's right. Look like pressure. Or else you know the puzzle would be too dang easy. Be careful. So I have to do certain ones? Yeah, if, if it's part of a puzzle, yeah, you have to do, you have to do it the way they tell you. You have to follow the Dragonborn path. As you see, Dragonborn path is the ones with the circle. Looking there. You have to follow that path the whole way. Close to the entrance. Yeah, I'm climbing upstairs now. Okay. And that would deactivate the trap. So yeah. It's not like Oblivion though, this Skyrim is not like Oblivion. I can tell you that much. 
Horse armor, what's that? Um, we just had to armor to your horse. Long, <laughs> it was a paid DLC for Oblivion. You could get it as a free mod on here. Hmm. Because it was just that pointless. <laughs> yeah. Why would you? I, I saw it before. I'm like, seriously, a lot of gamers were talking about that. That was really fucking armor for your fucking no horse. Or well, for one. Why the fuck do you want armor for a horse that's gonna probably die? Like, you can't see what I do. Exactly. And for one, the only horse that can really tough it out doesn't need fucking armor because it's already invisible. It's coming to life. Sky Haven Temple. Ooh, I remember this place. I thought you said you hadn't done this. I said it's been a while. Oh. Wait, did you still remember his areas and stuff? Ah, great. I gotta go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Do your time. Right. I will. Dragon Bane, finally. I remember the Dragon Bane. Blades armor, what's Blades armor? I find it funny that they didn't make me steal it this time. Well, you shouldn't have stolen it in the first place. You shouldn't have had to steal it in the first place. Yeah, I stole it the last you know, time, the, the dragon's bane. You know, the dragon uh, armor, the, the dragon weapon from here as well. It's around here somewhere. It's, it's one of the, one of the, the dragon bane, yeah, I got it. Yeah. You don't need it to kill Alduin, to be honest. Because it's just there for fun. Everyone has an appreciation for the artistic wonders. Let me see if I can find the right panel. That's a neat looking gun. Isn't that one? Yeah, that's the DLAT. Ah, patience, my dear. 
The Akaviri were not a straight form. Everything is cast in balance. Mythic symbol. Yes, yes. This here, coming from the mouth of the How do you use Hume. the Wabajack on the someone? I thought the Wabajack is just a book. There's no way to know what No, the Wabajack is a staff. Isn't it amazing? Ah, of course. Let me see if I can you find the right You mean they used a shout to defeat Alduin? And then you get this little bitch. This one is a pain Presumably something rather specific. I'll tell you what. Or even all the Have you ever heard of such a thing? A shout that can knock a dragon out of the sky? I was afraid you were going to say that. I guess there's Don't I already to... have this shout that can knock him out of the sky? I hope to avoid involving uh, no. him in this. What you're looking but we have for no is the choice. one that uh soul rend. That's the one I think it's called. The if they had their way, the you do nothing but sit up on their off, mountain again you know, and talk to the sky or whatever it is they do. The Greybeards are the so one. afraid of power that they won't use it. Think about and it. The that, have they know, tried to stop the civil war or done yes. anything about Alduin? No. See, and they're afraid of you, you of your power. Trust me, there is no need to be afraid. Only if you don't know how to use it. You All have, the great you know, heroes have had to learn to use their powers. Which Elder Scroll? Those that shrank sure. from their desk. And they are the villains. Those that misused their power. Gone. There's always Michael. a choice. And there's always a risk. But if you live in fear of what might what? go wrong, you'll end up doing I said, nothing. go ahead. Like yeah, the Greybeard. You. Right. You have, Good thing uh, they've already let you into their little cult. Not likely they have Esper or me. We'll look around Skyhaven. Talos guard. This is where they recorded all the new. And uh, the Mandalorian. So we're looking for a shout then. Damn it. What do you need, Dragonborn? The if they had their way, you do nothing but sit up on their mountain with. The Greybeards are so. Because think about it. No. This, Trust me. There is no need to be afraid. The Thalmor hunted us down, remember? Should I disenchant exactly the Dragon's Vein? But we have a headquarters of a sort now. You will not, we will, you will rebuild the blades someday. Yo, yo, we, we if you find anyone you think would make a good recruit, I can certainly take a look the, at you. Uh, the Remember that being a blade is a lifelong the commitment. The Their it. loyalty has to be with us once they're in. <laughs> the faction that rules the all there's no worse enemy to when I would, they believed that if really and when we found the dragon, we just, would need to protect. Need turns, I was, cream. but that and that we were sworn to protect the dragonborn, the, the greatest dragon slayer of all. On the, uh, mini -map Look the, uh, here, in the third panel, the prophecy which brought the Akaviri to Tamriel in the first place, in search of the dragonborn. Here are the Akaviri, the blade. You see their distinctive looks. Are you paying attention, Murphy? You might learn something from our old history. I know the pangs of my heart. Once all when misrule takes its place at the eight core When the brass tower walks, the tower is reshaped. The flying splash fail, and the red tower trembles. Dragonborn ruler loses and that's his the gold back to and the white which tower which falls. Which allows it to recharge in 35 seconds instead of 40. When the snow so tower... So you can just keep whipping that sound bitch. Yeah, the fun thing about the back to grenade is it gives you about 30%, it gives you about 30 extra health over your 100% health. So, so you take a little bit longer to die. And <laughs> to die. It actually allows you to attack Darth Vader's saber throw, which is a one hit kill. Wow. Am, am I on that quest line? Uh, what quest line? For the um, Waba Jack, and how do you use the Waba Jack? Oh, no, no. The, the Waba Jack? Uh, you have to get that from the You have to go to Solitude to begin the Legius's thing. Yeah, it's a, a thing where you go into a painting, it's, I think. It's a Danger Lord side quest. And it's awesome because it's Yogora. Uh. Mind yourself with that part. Don't try just Here, what you see. I want to show you all the HUD contracts that you can get. Most of them are DLC, though, unfortunately. Because, you know, 
they, they want you to, you know, have a taste of it, but they also want you to, you know, have, you, you know, find the, whatchamacallit? Season passes? Mm-hmm. Which, I might get the season pass. It seems fun. Season pass for what? Star Wars, Star Wars Battlefront. So, so you can have everything. Star Wars Portal, bro. I see. You can get... The ones with the word 2 at the end are the ones that are, like, that are upgrades to the previous one. So, like, you get things like the little scatter gun, which is called the slow door in here right now, although it's meant to be a shotgun. Yep, it was from, um, there was a gun, there was a few guns in, um, that I played in uh, Republic Commando that the Trandoshans used, and they were slug thrown uh, weapons. They had a shotgun, a heavy machine gun, and a regular SMG. Well, the slug thrower in this one is called the, uh, it's called a scattergun, it's a shotgun. And the slug door too decreases, decreases its cooldown. And the funny thing about the Trandoshans, they kidnap what I'm back when you need right? more meat. Are you looking for a gift for a friend, perhaps? Or let's see what adornments I might have available. Which is an outer M D L C thing. The I don't know what the Rodian blaster is. I know I know it's a cut that Greedo uses it. And as far as I can tell, it kind of sucks. No shit, you missed his shot. Well, I wasn't talking just about that, but we're talking about in game. I I've never I don't trust Greedo over any other hero, especially not Boba Fett. Boba's foot. Out of, out of all the heroes, I've played Boba Fett the most. Yeah, I fucking wrecked yeah, when I, I played heroes. I've, I've played either Princess Leia or Boba Fett. <laughs> I like Darth Vader. Yes, you, you like to swing in, I like to snipe. And also, like, you know, randomly being able to heal a person. They'd be like, fuck, why, why the hell did they heal? Because yeah, I'm, 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 I'm a support player. I'm, yeah, uh, pop that bubble and then just heal and just shit. Yep, although I have been playing more as an ATST AT lately. And as, you know, the Rebel A Wing fighter. I took out two ATSTs with an A Wing <laughs> in a single run, as well as an ATAT. There was like 10 guys. And about 4 or 5 uh, TIE, TIE interceptors with two TIE fighters. And the funny thing is, there was a shit ton of guys, there was like 10 of them all in a group, so I just went with Ella Akbar with my fucking, with my fucking, um, X-Wing and just killed out everybody and won the match. And they're like, holy Come shit, Come back if you need a new ring or necklace. Like, you just got ducked on, bitch. And I fired torpedoes into a cluster like that before. I tend not to, I tend to try not to destroy my plane. Oh, I could have fly it anyway, and that thing was half dead anyway, so might as well go out with a fucking bag. Yeah. And we, and we needed we needed five more kills, but those ten just completed everything. So I did. Okay. Even with it, even at thirty three percent, I can still outfight the Tie Fighter. I don't care how good the pilot is, the Tie Fighter, he will not outfight me. You went goddamn plane simulator, fucking airship combat simulator, you son of a bitch. You even hear that? Luna, I usually tend to wreck in the uh, in the fighter squadrons. I'm usually like either like first or already close to first in, t in terms of uh, kills to deaths. It's hard for me to get to be like the slave ship or the bloody and falcon and all that. Yeah. I've only got it like once and it was like for 30 seconds. It's really difficult. The aluminum cup. What the fuck is an aluminum cup? Millennium Falcon, robot. I said. No, no, there was this robot chicken thing and fucking out a chest or something. He's like, what the fuck is an aluminum falcon? You know, it's, it's like the foil brand version of the Millennium Falcon. They keep staying hot. Like, it keeps. And it can go, it can do a Kessel Run in 4 parsecs. <laughs> uh, the Kessel Run in 14 parsecs. 14 parsecs, yep. Is this the thing that made it into Kessel Run out of 14 parsecs? 12! If you remember the, uh, Force Awakens. Yeah. Which is a, 
it's a decent movie. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. It was good, but I just it, didn't it, like... it, It's a reaction episode four, though. Right down to the, right down to the attack on a giant base. Well, that giant base scene was fucking amazing. Yeah. Just remember that you eventually have to bring out the reborn number about the team and all the other canon stuff that got be that became non-canon. Besides the part of Boba Fett was falling into the falling into the Sarlacc bed three fucking times. I'm sorry, but Boba Fett is meant to be a badass, not a dumbass. Yeah, exactly. Your training proceeds well. Like, well, he's Dragon not Ball. as good as his fucking father. He'll never be good as his fucking father. Well, no crap, he's close. Exactly. Sky. Yeah, people who even, who even, who even are as good as his father. Sky. Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? Those that, that were part of the rebellion. Exactly. Yeah, yes, there were clones that were part of the Wait. rebellion. Wait, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bounds. They have always sought to turn the Dragonborn from the path of this. Yeah, I learned nothing from us. Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the blades to be used for their own purposes? Well, I will say it was pretty much plot No, but heed my warn. No, I can't. It is cold. We do not regret this. But because not Dragon Man. The knowledge of that shout was lost in the time Master before history began. Perhaps only its creators exactly. have enjoyed it. But like, I am not the one to speak of it. My friends watch the Star Wars movies and they never watch them and they're like, they watch the Clone Wars. I'm like, what was this created, stuff was primitive? Yeah. I'm like, in order no to learn shit, it, yes, this was stuff created was a by those technology. who had lived under and the unimaginable cruelty of our dream Dragon Cult. I cannot uh, teach you the shout, yeah, because I do not know. It is called Dragon Ren, and I really hope but its words of power time. are they unknown. Made, they they the we do so not regret this loss. <laughs> Dragon <laughs> Ren holds no place within the way of the loss. No shit, that, th that thing was the... Only the part of Max, uh, the, the master the of our order, wanted. can answer that question. If he so chooses. It was the baby that nobody wanted. He is our leader. Yeah, he lives in seclusion. Banks. He speaks okay, to us only, bad, only like those whose voice is strong yeah, can find the path. The we will teach you a shout to open the way yeah, to Especially, you know, where the where the other ATIs were getting shot down. Follow me. I will show you how to open the path to Parthenax. Or even in Battlefront 2. I mean, the Battlefront 2, the, the one thing I did miss was the, uh, free control on the LA-18. Because uh, I remember Battlefront 1's LA-18s. And those, those were my favorite freaking vehicle to play. Out of all the vehicles in Battlefront 1, those were my top ones. I don't care who you are, nothing can beat that transport gunship. And then they sort of made her into a somewhat linear space level thing. Which I got it was cool. You I mean you could you could play as the Arc 170s and all that other stuff as well. But you messed up my L A T man. They're gonna teach me how to do a shout. No, uh, the way to Parthenax, clear the skies. Path to Parthenax lies oh, through this right, gate. Right, right, right. Oh, you can drag her. to open the way. Mm -hmm. uh, first, she's gonna get to clear the skies one, so she can make it past Alduin's fall walls. Or you can just no clip the shit and just go there and do the mission. Or you can just, you know. Weapon. 
I'll grant you my understanding, Queen Sok. This is your Look, final guys. gift from us, Dragonborn. Use it well. How do you... Is there a way to sneak up on them without hurting them? So what do you do? You just sneak up behind them? Um, I think I don't want to recommend you hit them with somebody else nearby. I think you'd have to wait for like one of them to be like in a chair or something. And then you hit them and then do what? So what do you do? You how do you gain the points? You just hit him, or what do you do? I think you have to whack him, but I'm not quite sure with what. Man, this game is really weird. He told me that that my the my uh, DL44 was locked, and that it said it was unlocked. I am have unlocked 13 out of 15 blasters. The other two are DLC. is ranked 17 and she has 11,000 in the bank I think it's time for you to buy a new blaster <laughs> uh, let's see it's a shame you can't gift people stuff in Star Wars like I could buy her a blaster right now Okay, um, Michael, I hit him and it still didn't increase my sneak. It's gonna take a while. It, 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 um, I don't think you're sneaking. I am sneaking, I just shot him with an arrow. Um, you're... Where's the eye thing for the sneak then? There it is. And then how is that going to improve my sneak? Um, because you're hitting him and you're just technically doing sneak attacks on him. Okay, and what if I kill him? Then what? You can't kill him. He's a graybeard. He's essential. He's not going to move from 
You want to attack me? Wow, for achievements in the Gamer Score leaderboard, I'm in second place. Finally, about fucking time. Uh, play with Gamer Score leaderboard. Um, the Gamer Score leaderboard for achievements and shit. I'm in second place with 29,015. <laughs> I finally got. Who's first? My friend Danny. Who's third? Okay, let's see here. I'll go back. Okay, first is Draco, 307. that's my best friend. Me, second, and Queen Supreme is in third, Fox and Fire is in fourth, the, uh, the Denial guy is in fifth, and New King Slayer is in sixth. I used to be the lowest until I started playing more games. Uh, I'm trying to figure out my, what my gamer score is. Okay, hopeless court seven, Jilly Bean. My friend, uh, that slash streamer is eight. Dragon Flames is nine. Holy shit, wow. I have like 1,550. Wow, you're in 22nd place with 30. Wait, and how much did you say were at first? 31, you have 31, uh, 31550 gamer score. You're in the last, you're in last place. Gray beard. He just laid down with an arrow in his back. Thing is, my original Xbox had mods in it because there was the flamethrower and 
Halo. Company Ball, that was only the PC version, but I had a single player. I, uh, when I was playing, I was like, holy shit. And like, my Xbox was modded, which was pretty cool. I'd recommend you whack him with a knife. Stick him with a what? Whack him with a knife so that way you're not wasting up all your arrows. Just shoot him with the nuts. We got a lot of arrows in this game, so arrow, getting out, uh, losing arrows is not really going to Like, trust me, you should see the fucking arrows of racking up. I've been saving them because I have a Fulmer bow that I ah! that I ate. I yeah. To be honest, I haven't used my bows as much as I should have. My orcish, uh, battle at, um, my orcish axe occasionally when I run out of magicka, but I'm mostly use, fucking sorting people, um, magic. I use dragon skull crossbow. Uh, How do you know if it's ranking up, though? What do you mean? If it's ranking up, uh, it should tell you, like, if, like, it should be telling you that it's leveling up. Yeah, it would show it, the bar, progress bar moving. Uh -huh. It'll say, like, uh, Sneaking to 58? Yeah, I need to get it to 70. So, so, so you do this about like an hour. <laughs> or you can, you know, use your little, the little cheat books that you have in there. What cheat books? You remember the books. No, I have um, a book. I, I, picked some of the book. I like picking up the books though and reading them. <laughs> like some of the stories inside them are interesting, like the Lusty Orgonian. Yeah, I have the Lusty Argonian made, uh, Lusty Argonian made 1 and 2 abridged. <laughs> I saw a video of the Lusty uh, Argonian made porn video too, so, I, I went there. Yeah, nobody wants to see the Argonians get made. They're not that bad looking, but still, it's just kind of creepy. But the thing is, I read through each of the books, like, I found one about Oblivion, mm -hmm. the Oblivion games, and I, I'm gonna write one of these days, then I'm just gonna write these down. Like, you know, and just post them up on the internet, be like, you know, the, it's, uh, oh, but that's the only the games, I'm just posting these up as just, you know, whatever things, as journal entries on DeviantArt, something to read. If I pickpocket yeah. him, if I pickpocket him, will that increase my sneak? Yeah, but, but, but he, he can catch you if you pickpocket. Hell, I like when I, uh, I remember when I was playing with one of my buddies, um, we were, we were talking, like, how you can bring your, uh, freaking, your, uh, thief skills so high up that you can just steal the clothes off their back. <laughs> so they're walking completely naked. I literally just Come stole on. back the arrows that I shot in him. He's like, okay, I'm gonna rip off his back. Uh, you're ripping him out of his back and he doesn't even notice that you've just ripped it out of his fucking scrotum. <laughs> oh, I'm sure, I, have you seen the other pocket animation? No, I haven't. I think it might have oh, once. Did, did you see the sneak one where basically the guy just shoots an arrow, hits the guy, and he's like, oh, death that! And the oh, fucking so dragon just, barks. So it's just my imagination. God damn it! <laughs> that video was the fucking greatest. Uh, I prefer uh, the mock picking one, though. With the Kiji. Yep. <laughs> Doors work like that in Skyrim, eh? <laughs> yeah, Alright, just scream. You know what I like to do? When, alright, when the, when the storm <laughs> isn't, like, you know, he's sleeping, and I break into the place, and I just foos roll down everything and make it a complete clusterfuck, and then I leave, and the guy's just sitting there, or just walking, just seeing all of his shit just all over the place, or yeah, I would pick up a going through his mind. I used to pick up buckets and place them on their heads. Oh my god, same here. I was about to talk about that, you and stupid then, jerk. And then, I, and then I stole it all from them. And then there's my one perk. I was able to sell some of the stolen stuff right back to them. <laughs> I like how the they're like the woman's like, Oh, I'm growing potatoes. Go go uh, help yourself. Take them all. Here you go. Here's, some, here's your potatoes that I just recently picked. Thank you for the gold. I'm out. <laughs> Might as more. Yeah, I, I just found the school to claw. 
hey, what's that the one that just that was just missing? I'll gladly pay you for it. He can steal it again. <laughs> and and the hilarious thing is that I have a curse in Skyrim. Wolves attack me constantly. No matter where the fuck I am, I could be on top of a mountain. Regular wolf. Yeah, they do it to everyone. Here's the thing. I have a, I have the Ursula Creatures mod, which which means there's a quite a bit more wolves, and they actually will attack realistically, <laughs> like in a giant freaking pack. That's why you push right out of my off a off a ledge and be like, hey, there's real lemons, like, like but a, there's no like guy a, in the background taking them off the mountain. Like a pack of, uh, there's like a pack of twenty. <laughs> got attacked by by three trolls and two giants working together. Oh my god. Yeah, that's Skyrim versus creatures. It, it tries to diversify you into the world even more than <laughs> creatures do. They actually behave like they're somewhat alive. And then you also have things like immersive patrols. I once came across a, a big battle between Imperials and Stormcloaks. Yeah. I need to add the, the uh, Battlefields mod as well, which, uh, which gives you actual Battlefields like glitches and stuff as well. I have so many more mods I need to add to immersify myself into Skyrim. These are just the basic ones I did because I was lazy. I think he gave up on sleeping. Who? This dork. Jace. Or what, what dork? No, the Greybeard. The Greybeard got tired of trying to sleep. What? I wouldn't have attacked him while he's moving. Why? But then again, it might just be because, you know, usually when you attack, when you attack people while they're moving, they get tend to get angry. I like how, I like how fucking ridiculously, um, I'm not calling you stupid, but if you gave your guys like, help keeping your bow out, and then the fucking guard's like, uh, so, like, We'd be kind of scared if a woman would walk around with a weapon drawn. I'm like, dude, put your fucking weapon away! And then a guard would randomly just come up and smack you. I'm like, what the fuck? That'd be weird if that happened. Like, I keep my weapons um, holstered because I do not want to have guards getting all fucking paranoid and shit. I'd have to see if that's actually a modern Skyrim. Immersive guards. Skyrim. I think I just, just got him for 20 up. damage. You got a t-shirt? No, I got a picture. I can send it to you if I can find it. Actually, I got a link. I'll just send you the link. I look really fucking beastly. I look pretty cool. I'm a fan of Undertale, so I'm like, I had it. She never did a picture of Sans battling anybody, and this was her first attempt to try it, and it came out good. She she was very proud of it, and she cried when I donated a book to her, and she's not someone poor gamer girl at all. She's actually a really good housewife, a really nice woman, and... She's married? A, yeah, she's married. <laughs> but she's engaged to you. I'm confused. No, this chick... No, this is a friend of mine, not my girlfriend. Oh. <laughs> my girlfriend's not married. She wouldn't marry anybody but me, she said, because she's like, I'm the only guy that actually gives her respect to her dog. She's like, I'm the only guy that actually treats her like a fucking human being and not a piece of shit like everybody else does. Like, her family's kind of as, oh, fucking high as the, um, hypocritical. Well, I call your daughter a whore for sexting me when she's my fucking girlfriend and call her a slut, but ain't your Christian. You're being a hypocrite. You're using God, uh, the name of God as an excuse to be a douchebag to person, uh, to people. And get off my ears for this little fuck. Yeah, I mean, in a lot of Christian religions, sexting, I mean, any type of pornography in any way, shape, or form is against the Christian religion because they teach us to be modest. And like, I'm gonna, like, I'm Christian, but you know what, I'm not gonna follow every goddamn rule that 
they're telling me to follow because you know what? I'm gonna follow my own path in life. I'm not gonna have to abide by a reading God, book, man. you know? Like, I, I know that you believe in God, blah, 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 uh, and shit like that, but you know, <sighs> is that one of my friends came up to me and uh, she, w uh, she was now my ex friend saying, why should you believe in something that doesn't exist? Blah, blah, blah. And that's what kind of pushed our friendship away because I did, and I didn't force it upon her at all. I'm not like your mom who forces religion on you, tried to force religion on you completely. Where I'm like, you know what? You believe what you want to believe. You're only fucking 16 years old. You live in high. Uh, your boyfriend lives in Malaysia. You guys are never gonna fucking meet. So stop your bitching because your relationship's gonna go down the shitter. And she got all pissy because she know she knows it's the truth that it's gonna happen. <laughs> And I doubt they're all with me, and you know what, I'm gonna laugh when they meet, and they're not, they're not who they say they are, and you know what, whatever, I really don't care, you know what, my life is gonna be shit, because you know what, she treats people like crap. How did she get caught sexing, how did her parents catch it? Her stepmom got, uh, took her, uh, and this is the fucked up part, took her iPad, her fucking tablet away, and started reading the texts out loud. Oh. God. Yeah, her stepmom's a fucking bitch. And I told her, I told her <laughs> she gets hit by a car. And the funny th thing is, the hilarious thing is, a couple days later, her mom gets a car accident. Which is kind of fucking, it's not funny at all, but I think it's kind of funny. It's using in a, you know, electronics like sort of a way. Like, I, 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 I got my revenge. And you know what? Her mom's okay, and I think her mom's gonna learn the thing twice, not to fucking do shit to her daughter. You know what? Her car was total, but you know what? You gotta stop being treating her. She maybe because she's adopted doesn't give you the fucking reason to treat her like shit. I'm like. I mean, there's better ways of addressing the the. Exactly. There's better ways. You know, like I mean, personally. Just because they just because they are adopted doesn't mean treat them any less than you know if they were your flesh and blood. I mean, however, the mother should have said something like, look, you know, I get that you love this man, but sexting, sexting can come back to harm you. Yeah, I get that she's legal, but, you know, the mother probably, um, you know, the mother doesn't know how to chastise her daughter. She's not teaching her any lessons by chastising her. Uh, I think that exactly. she she should bring it to light that, you know, sexting, yes, should be between people who are in love, but at the same time, you run the risk that if they turn on you, they will send it to someone else. Like, you know, so, I mean, yeah. Saya... Like, I have had, I had, I had it before in the past, and that's why I don't do it with certain people. I don't do it only with certain people. I don't do it with certain it's just, you know what, me and Christine, I have this bond that can never be broken, and, dude, we did for three weeks because her tablet got taken away, and, you know what, she's like, she used her friend's phone to have work to talk to me, and, um, she told me to stay strong, and I was going to part because, you know, I can't live without her, blah, 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 and it really fucking hurt, but, you know, the, the, the thing is, you gotta, you gotta pull through, you know, even if we're long distance, distant, um, on my girlfriend's profile on, uh, on Skype, she, like, distant, uh, she said something about distance, I have to find it, and she's like, distance just tests how, um, distant is just a test to see how far, uh, love can travel, which is true, and I'm not gonna let anything take her away from me, hell, I even said I was gonna fly down there and fucking say, you know what, you're 18, you don't have no buddy. You could just fucking leave and your mom can't really hear about it because you're legal age. I could have just, she could have hopped in the car and never fucking came back. Well, you know, back. you know, you need to, um, I, I get that, you know, I don't support the method that the mother did to chastise her daughter, but yeah, I will, I will tell yeah, you, I, I will you. tell you something though. Um, one time. I went on webcam with my ex and all I did was I was just laying on a couch and I was clothed and he went and took screenshots of it because his best friend wanted to see me naked and 
he sent those was, photos uh, and they superimposed naked we bodies. Did, we didn't did do, did do shit like that. We I know, but like, let, let, me, let me finish my story. Let me finish my story. Just give me like five minutes to talk here, sweetheart. Uh, I want you to understand what I'm talking about fully. So this guy, John, I dated a guy named Joe and Joe's best friend was John. John was mad at me that I wouldn't send him the nudes. So, so he had his best friend take pictures of me and then they superimposed naked bodies onto my body. And then they took those pictures, yeah, then they took those pictures and sent it to every single one of their friends and said, look, she's not that hot. She's fat, she's this, she's that, her boobs are not that big, which anyone who's ever met me in person can tell you my boobs are ginormous I mean I may not flaunt them on webcam here yeah like I could hold a cell phone and a drink in between my boobs like I've literally put I was in a club one time and I my hands were full so I stuffed my drink in between my boobs and a straw and drank it like that because I had stuff in my hands. <laughs> I can tell actually by your breast size oh, with that, that thing on, I can see how big your boobs are and they're fucking ginormous. So, even, it, it, it's funny how close I've, I've you feel. I've seen her in like, the pictures where she's standing and, yeah, they're pretty Oh yeah, like just like in a bikini, like they, I have a bikini at home and I have to carefully place my bikini top or I will literally fall right out of it. So, I mean, I have I just, I just huge be, boobs. Huh? Like no diving. No diving for you in that bikini. Yeah. Your boobs are just going to be like, a bad ship and just fall right out. Yep. But yeah, like, you know, my, my point of the story here is that he went and like, see, he did this to me because of two reasons. One, he was mad that I wouldn't send him nudes. Two, he was mad that I wouldn't fuck him, date him and whatever. And three, he was mad because I ended up taking up, taking over his role play. Um, he led a military and then I took over it. I, I, I took over because he was sexually harassing other people and me and we got tired of it. So he tried to get back at me by doing this. I mean he sent the photos to people that I didn't even know. Like and, and then I happened to find out who they were later because I worked in the same we worked in the same badge community selling badges. Both of us sold badges. So she was like a business partner who found who saw it and told me about it and it was his girlfriend that he tried to cheat on with me and I was like no so you know I understand that she's in love and she's 18 but you know things can happen where people could turn on each other or even not even that like my ex Nick he used to share his cell phone with his military pals or like people would just pick up his phone while he was asleep like, you know, it's the point of the matter is you may be a good person, but the people, yeah, the people around you could, your friends, your own friends could turn on you. Not saying they would. The funny thing is I don't interact with people in real life, so I don't have that issue. And I don't really send pictures to anybody that are only anime related. And the funny thing and, is, people don't sex anymore. We stop sex because of her mom, so... I know, I know, I'm just saying, like, people could hack your shit, and, you know, it's just dangerous, and, you know, I was so horrified that this guy did this to me, I was gonna sue him. I got my parents on board, we were going to sue him, and I made him go on screen chair, I said, you're gonna go on screen chair right fucking now. I said, and you're going to show me every damn folder in your computer to show me proof that you're deleting this from everything, or I'm going to make a campaign with your name on it, and I will make it worldwide. I said, if you think for a second that I won't, you are out of your ever-loving mind. And he... Like, seriously, if someone does some stupid shit 
stupid shit like that is ridiculous. Like seriously. I'm the type of girl. And I agree. I'm the type of girl that would go kick go down if I had to go down, I'd go down kicking and screaming and making sure everybody else suffered in the end. So like I you know, I'm not saying this because I think I don't think you're a creep and I don't think she's a creep. But I think that you, you know gotta be very careful. You've gotta that's be very careful. Do. I would that's stick the you're that's the only thing you're telling me you're not being a dick about it because I can tell yeah. you're telling me you gotta be you gotta do this safely. Safely. Safe like it. I would stick to you know, if you have, if you're that into nudes, okay, like there's this thing on. I know she doesn't. Say, I only only pictures I have of her are her just wearing a nice outfit, and that's it. Nothing sexual, just regular clothes and shit, and a few face shots. That's all I have of her. I'm not. I'm not Computer. being like your mother. I'm just genuinely worried for this. Get to fall. Destroyed, so yeah. You're being very effective of me, which another lot of friends actually give a shit. Like seriously, most of them are like, if it happens, you're you're fucked and it's your fault and blah blah blah. But you're being the considerate person, saying you gotta be careful. I'm not trying to be your mom. I'm trying to be there to look out for your best friend who stood up to you, uh, stood up for you when fucking what's his name fucked with you. You're pretty much repaying the favor of just standing up for me and right, what I did for you. Right. And I want to thank you for that. You're Jeff welcome. Cocky. No, I'm Carrie. Uh, not Carrie. Um, yeah, it's Carrie. It's Carrie, um, Luna, same person. Yeah, and uh, I'm very grateful that you're doing this for me because, you know, it's bullshit that none of my friends, only other friend that would protect me that way would be you and my friend Bex. And my friend <laughs> Bex, she's one of my best lesbian buddies ever, and she's been sticking up for me and my girlfriend for a while. I told her all the shit that's gone down. And she's always there for me. She's always praying to God for me. She's praying for my girlfriend. She's been there for me. And you remind me a little bit of her. And thank you, Carrie, for being, you know, modest and caring and telling me the truth and not sugarcoating shit like everybody else does. Because I'm tired of people sugarcoating the truth. I want to hear it straight out. I don't care how bad it's going to fucking hurt. Hell, in for five minutes, I was about to cry a little bit because of what you were saying making me feel like my relationship could go down the toilet because somebody could get on my laptop because I already been hacked once a while back. Somebody posed as my brother on my computer and almost fucked my uh, friendship up with my friend just saying one of my friends got shot, which she didn't, and she basically gave me a strike and be like, you know what, if you fuck up again, I don't care if it was you or not, that, that's just fucked up, and she gave me a probation period, and me and her are best friends, and I haven't let anybody on my computer since. I've been keeping it locked down and everything. I carry it wherever I go, and I keep it with me at all times, because I didn't want to have that shit happen again. I had my IMU account fucking hacked because some douchebag. All right, here's the story Um, what happened. I was hanging out with my friend, oh, and this is before me and Christina were dating, and one of her friends pretty much had a fucking huge crush on her, like seriously, she was just, when me and Christina met, we met at random, and we started hanging out, and the girl would get super jealous of me, giving her just a fucking hug, and we'd growl and be a little bitch about it. And one day we were role playing, and it wasn't me. I didn't even know about the role playing until one day I got invited to a chat. She's like, "You're coming to this chat. My boyfriend wants to fucking talk to you about." She's like, "I heard you had sex with my girlfriend on IMU, and then he does this whole role play thing where he's beating the shit out of me." And I told him my account got hacked. Somebody hacked my account, and basically I didn't know what was happening until I looked on my screen of all the shit that's happened. And then he's like, "Oh my god, I'm sorry." And this guy was a complete asshole. He was a fucking tool. He was worse than fucking. Who was he? Name that. And what happened was that he forgave me. He forgave me. And I'm like, it wasn't fucking me at all. Like, seriously, I didn't do shit. And I almost, like, me and Christina, I told Christina about it. She's like, that's fucked up. And the girl, Kat, the, the one that I was so called making out with and making love to, well, basically fucking, um, I removed her from my friends list, and Christina did because she was too controlling over Christina. And Christina knew she liked me more than Kat, so 
Icy Cat or whatever the fuck her name was got super pissed that Christina went to pass out for me instead of her. I'm like, one, Christina wants a guy, a person that's supportive and caring and is there for her and not trying to force her to do stuff. And it's like she dragged Christina into a room with a bunch of people that were talking about in Spanish and shit. And Christina was in the corner and I am fucking crying. I'm like, dude, look what you just did. You just made her cry. You dragged her into a situation she didn't want to be in. So I'm sitting there coddling her. She's like, just the fuck over Christina. She's not yours. I'm like, she's not yours either. Just leave her alone. And Christina's like, dude, guys, please stop. And I'm like, all right, I'll stop. But Kat, I'm not going. And I, I took her name, like, I'm going to invite you to my room. She's like, okay. She comes with me. And then Kat's, like, messaging me privately, being like, what the fuck did you do? I'm like, I didn't do shit. You made her feel super uncomfortable. And she's very fucking sensitive. And shit like that. And I gave Christina the power to feel love again. She never really had, like, emotions towards anybody because of the pills she used to take. But sent because of me, she quit drinking. She quit going to parties because bad shit would happen to her. Because a random guy tried to take advantage of her and have a couple of times. If my be her best friend, Eric, wasn't fucking there, she would have been pregnant. He kicked down the fucking door and beat the shit out of this guy near death. And the guy ran out, got in his car, took the fuck off, and was never seen again. And Christina told me about this incident, and I got fucking scared, so I stuck by her side. And, as you can see, I've been her fucking guardian angel for a long ass time, and I'm not gonna stop protecting her. Is it and better to do the the blade where it's 12 times the damage, or the bow, which is 3 times the damage? Mm, I don't think it matters which one you're using. Because you mostly use bows instead of axes, so I think you should go with the bow. That's just my opinion. Because if you, if you see this axe, watch this. <laughs> 12 times the damage. Hmm. I thought all these daggers were supposed to do 12 times the damage. I thought regular blades were always supposed to do, uh... Any weapon you use in sneak mode can do a lot of damage, doesn't matter what weapon you're using, though. Uh, I know that, I don't know that anything one-handed besides a dagger was only supposed to do six times extra damage. I don't remember it right. I think so. But the end not... you're supposed to do up to twelve. Uh, but, yeah, IMBU is the biggest drama pot besides Facebook and YouTube. And yeah, I mean, anything so nowadays is a drama pot. Like, that's why I don't get on as much. That's why I try not to interact with people, because there's this girl that I would hang out. And this girl that I was technically dating, this was way before Christina and I, and it was fucked up. She got super jealous that I would be hanging out with this girl, Leah. She was, Leah was kind of antisocial, didn't really have that many friends in real life. And her family treated like shit. I wanted to be there for Anyway, you know, I like wanted to tell you another friend. thing before we go off tangent. Um, Sorry. Yeah, I was like, sure, you need to get a word in edgewise. I'm like, I gotta get a word in edgewise. Um, <laughs> so, you remember how I told you I used to be married? Yeah, you told me the entire story, I think. Yeah, about well. Your husband. Yeah, I used to be real life married. So he, this guy used to be in the military and he did electronic warfare. Which is where they could basically go into all of your shit and hack it. Um, if you're like a terrorist or whatever. Well, he used his job to ha like illegally hack into my cell phone to try to delete proof that like where he admitted to cheating on me and beating me up. So like, I mean... I'm telling you this also because I want you to know that even though, like, you may not be around people that hate you, but if there is at least one person who even dislikes you or dislikes her, they can find a way to hack into your phone, and he did. He hacked into my phone, I had to contact Apple, and I had to literally change all of my information because he hacked my iCloud. Which was, and then he was going in and deleting stuff. But luckily, you know, Apple, Macintosh, you know, Macintosh, they had the ability to bring it back. But yeah, like, 
Exactly. You can't trust anyone. Exactly. That's why I'm very protective of who I talk to. Anything over the internet that goes over the internet, it doesn't matter if you delete it. There's always a server out there that can hold it. And like, you know, somebody on IMVU named Neato, he went and he deleted all of my threads on my group page and he thought that that he had won, but IMVU was able to get all my threads back. So you really just gotta be careful. I'm sorry if I'm still stressing this issue. It's just It's fine, it's fine. You're just caring about me and that's what I care I like about you. You're very, very sincere, you're very tr uh, trustworthy and trustworthy and you're telling me, you know what, you gotta be careful because I know there's a lot of douchebags that'll do that there, there's nobody that knows my fiance at all. And but we're we're super safe about things now because of bullshit that's happened, blah 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 and you know, it's just stupid as hell that he hacked your phone and tried to delete everything. Everything gets saved in the cloud now. You think you delete it, it's still up there, so you technically still have proof the like since you had your shit all in uh, Apple held all your stuff. Pretty much, you still have those pictures of what the shit that he did to you. So pretty much, you just have to... so pretty he much. lost the fight and he won. He got fucked over in the end. Doesn't matter how much electronic warfare or military training you have, you can still lose. It's a matter of your military. Or not. Good will always or lose. Everybody has a weak point. I know. I mean, and then like you were telling me she's 18. I'm like, oh my gosh, like 18 is like at the beginning of your life. You're still so young, and I know that you're an adult, but, like, man, like, um, when I was 18, I, I got raped, and that's how I lost my virginity, and, like, I could tell you right now, if I could, you know, if I could go back in time, I would have literally just not even moved to that area to avoid it, so I could keep my virginity still, um, because it takes away your innocence when you get involved in that and I know that people say I'm still innocent, and I am, but it's just, you know, it's a, it's a dangerous field. You can never get back. Yeah, and, you know, I'm like, I'm not like those girls that just, like, I'm not saying your girlfriend is, but I mean, when I was in school, in high school, everybody thought I was going to be a nun, because, like, I used to date people in school, and um, if they tried to have sex with me... I would dump them and so I went through a lot of boyfriends and I told them at the beginning I was like hey listen if you want to date we cannot have sex ever until we're married and they'd be like okay I promise and then they'd still try to have sex with me and then some of them I'd give a warning some of them didn't catch it and I finally was just like you know okay you're gone and I dumped them so it, 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 it sucks, but it, the funny thing is, my girlfriend's not like one of those girls that are fucking slutty as shit, as you said, you don't think my girlfriend's like that. She's actually very fucking responsible for an 18, so she graduated high school, she went looking for a job and got one immediately, and she's really good with money and stuff, and just, she is like a fucking, she's not a 3 year old in an 18 year old's body, she's super responsible for everything, she's already got a rental car already. Does she go to college? Um, she doesn't have the money and shit for it though, because she's been saving it up so she can get an apartment so I can move in with her. I think- And then I can go up out there and looking for a job. I think that what she should do, and this is my advice and you don't have to take it, I, I don't care if you like it or not, but the, I'm gonna tell you this advice because I experienced this firsthand. So when I went, and I was her age, I was going to college, and I met this girl, and she was like, oh, I think it's so stupid that you're going to college because you're wasting all this time, blah, 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 by the time you, she told me, by the time that I get out of college, she's going to be a manager at Winn-Dixie. And this girl had already two babies, and she was, like, not even 20 years old. And we're waiting till we get older to have a child. Yeah, but if you have sex, you know, chances are you're going to get pregnant. Even if you are on the pill and you're on the condom, 
I know somebody that took the pill the morning after pill and was on birth control and on a condom and she still had a baby. So, like, you never know when God comes knocking on your door. And, um, but, like, you know, of course you're going to be safe. And you never, nobody plans to have children um, out of wedlock, usually. Uh, so, like, she, she told me, oh, you know, you're stupid. And then I said, all right, whatever you say. So, two years later, I got my my uh, degree she had already three kids by that point and was on her fourth kid and I said so how are things at Winn-Dixie she was still stuck pushing carts Winn-Dixie still stuck no, no raise like I mean when I say no raise I mean like they gave her like a 10 cent raise but that's oh, not that's fucking hilarious yeah it's not a raise so I mean you can you can get three jobs or whatever you want to do, but you're going to work yourself to death. And I've we're been there. Thinking, she's already thinking about later in the future. We already got something planned out. She's going to join the military because she's already got everything. That All right. Her. And so in the near future, she's probably going to uh, um, enlist in the military and uh, be over there. Well, the funny thing is, since I won't be able to live on base because of my sex offense or anything, and my girlfriend is like, right, so she has, she's, well, she works at hospital, so she has really good, um, since she graduated high school, she got a really good diploma and everything, and she has really good medical practice, she's probably going to end up working in a hospital as one of her dream jobs, and she already works in one now, taking care of old people, and she helps take care of her aunt and everything. So we're slowly figuring things out. We're not rushing into it immediately. We're not getting married right away. We're gonna wait a couple of years. Okay. And we're just planning everything ahead. We are we are not like rushing everything. You know, we gotta get married. We have to get this. We're planning it one step at a time. We're the responsible adults where we're like, you know what? We're gonna take things slow because if you rush it, it could bug up and blow up in your face. All right. Well, I'm just and saying, one, like, make sure. Together. Make sure she takes the educational route at some point. She could get loans, and also, they've got like a scholarship for soldiers who are active duty. You can go and get your college paid for for free on the That's GI okay. Bill. Yeah, thinking. But the thing is, when she told me weapons up with the military, I broke down in tears because. I was worried that I would lose her and never get a letter from home saying that she died overseas and I would never see her again. Why don't but you join them? Oh, I wait. Was, I, would, I can't. I have ADHD and I'm not even allowed. I wouldn't even be able to piss. You can, you can join, you can join with ADHD. I know that for a fact. Um, because I know people with ADHD who did join. I know people who had, like, anxiety disorder and bipolar disorder and like, you know, paranoia disorder, and they still join. So... I think it's something we could do together, me and her. We could both join the military together. Just, it's simple. When you apply, just say no to all the health questions. Just no, 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 no. Because, literally, half the people that are in the military, I'll be honest with you, they ain't that bright. Okay? I could say that because, you know, I was married to one. So, and... I mean, I, I've talked to the first sergeant in the Air Force. He didn't even know stuff that I learned in the fifth grade, okay? They're not that smart. It doesn't take a genius. It doesn't take a mentally fit person to join the military. If you can hold a gun and shoot it, that's all that matters to them, really. They may say, oh, we don't want you if you can't do this that and the other but once you get in and once you get past tech school because you got basic and then you got tech school once you get past that they'll keep you because i know this because when my husband beat me to a pulp well my ex-husband beat me to a pulp instead of them firing him right away they put him through anger management and made him go to prison for a short while and then 
Um, because I didn't press charges, they let him out. I didn't press charges because I was threatened by the military if I did that I would be thrown on the street and I'd have no food or health care, but I had many injuries and I needed them to be taken care of. And so I stayed and was like, okay, I won't press charges, but he still had to serve time in prison. And um, when he got out, they, they made him go to anger management. They made him do a marriage retreat that was all expense paid by the military. And it was located in the Hilton Resorts for free. We got a handicapped room because the guy beat me so badly I could barely even walk. Okay. With a walker. Barely walk. And... Yeah, so, like, they kept him, even after they knew he had anger problems, paranoia disorder, and anxiety disorder, and depression. Okay, so, those are serious problems. I don't give a fuck what you say about ADHD. I have ADHD. ADHD exactly. It it's nothing. It's just... It's nothing I, I compared to some of the things I these dudes have. have. That people put you through. You know those stupid... <laughs> wrong with you i think they're bullshit because you know what they just want to label you as something because because you're different i mean and it's do you realize that 90 percent of the people on the planet have adhd uh, did you know that 90 percent exactly. of people on the earth have adhd it is not a mental handicap i don't care exactly. what you say it is not, not because you are normal that's normal to have ADHD everybody gets distracted if you have distraction problems that bad they have medicine like Concerta that helps you focus sure Concerta is a derivative of speed but it really makes you focus and I didn't know that Concerta had that till long after I stopped taking it I stopped taking Concerta because I have tachycardia, which is a heart problem, where my heart beats too fast to the point that if it gets too fast, you have a heart attack and you die. So, um, yeah, that's why I stopped taking it, because we thought it happened from that, but then we realized after I stopped taking all ADD medicine and stuff that we realized that it was actually a genetic heart problem. Granted, it probably kicked it in early because it's, well, again, a derivative of speed, but it was bound to happen at some point because my mother, my uh, grandmother, she died of heart disease, and, you know, my aunt has the same type of cardio problem. So, I mean, you know, stop letting people tell you that what you have is a cripple because you are a special person. You are God's gift to the planet. It don't matter if you get distracted. It don't matter if your eyes look different or your hair is a different color or if you have split ends. You are your own special person. And don't let anybody ever tell you you can't fulfill your dreams because you know what? I was able to do it. And if I can do it, you can too. How old are you? I'm 25. I'm, I'm 26. Yeah, yeah I mean... You're, 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 you're older than me. I mean... You were born in 1991, were you? I was in uh, 1990. The year of the horse. How the hell are, how the hell are you 26 and you were born in 1990? And I was born in 1990 as well. I... How is that fucking possible? I was born January. I was December 27, 1990. Uh, 1990. Mm -hmm. Um... Oh yeah, she was born before me, so she was several months ahead of me. I was like 11 months and, earlier. And it's, it's 2016 right now. 
Yeah. So 26. Yeah. She's gonna be one step ahead of me. It's like my ex-girlfriend, Nibia, aka my close friend. What year did you graduate high school? 2011. In 2011 you graduated high school? Yeah, because since I was in a handicapped class, I had to take a everything. And they were like, you're taking another, you could stay until you're 21. I said, fuck that shit, I'm graduating. Well, you, you know... Yeah, they just put me straight through the system. They didn't care. Did, did they make you do special ed? Yes, and I fucking hated it. How about you? I really hated it. I, <laughs> though, I mean, still, Michael, did I you have to it. have special ed? I was, I was in special ed, yes. All, all through high school? Yeah, and they just didn't push me through. They didn't really care. They didn't try to even help me. My teachers did. My teachers cared about me a lot. Yeah, none of mine did. I mean, you can't put your kid through special ed <gasps> ever. I hate to tell you guys this, but you can't. I remember when I went to public school, they tried to put me through special ed as well because I was uh, ADD. The special ed, pro first of all, if you're not in special ed, you are actually behind the school system anyway by a whole two years. If you are in special ed, you are behind the school system by about three years. Or four exactly, years. Exactly, because the, all the shit that you had to do was like... Very slow. Fucking middle school. Like, I mean, when I was in... Like, they tried to put me in it. Um, and I remember... The people that were in special ed in middle school were learning multiplication tables. At age 14. And you're supposed to know that when you're like... In the third grade. Like, when you're... Exactly. Eight or nine. And so, the it's. The problem is, I was very much. I was quite a bit smarter than, than what they, they think I am. Because you, you, like me, don't have real problems, okay? We have learning curve, maybe because we have ADD or Asperger's. I don't have Asperger's, but the ADD and the Asperger's, you can get through school just fine, okay? Yeah, exactly. You don't have a learning problem. What? What they should have done, what your mother should have done, okay? And now you can hate me all you want for this, but I'm going to tell you something right now. Private school is best for your kids because there's a smaller class. And not only that, they put you on the right learning track, so that way when you graduate high school, you are smarter than the actual average college kids who are in a public college. So you could, like for me, so I went to, I'll tell you a bit about my story. This is kind of interesting for you guys to know because if you want kids, you need to do this for your kids. So I went through public school and we had to do the FCAT, which is like a standardized testing. Well, they had us do the FCAT, and I kept failing it every time. And the reason why I did it was because I had ADD, so they shoved me in a special ed class. Now, I had no problem learning. I guess I read slow because I am dyslexic, but I have no problem learning, okay? I could still learn and retain information like that. I'm a quick learner. But they put me in a class with retards, people who can't really function which is bad seriously they're in like wheel like they're in wheelchairs they wheelchairs can't talk, can't talk and their eyes are all I, like over the place I, and and I feel bad for those kids and i feel bad for the parents who gave birth to them because they the, the, the thing is that i feel like those kids just want i'm just not trying to be a dick i'm not trying to be rude but i feel like inside those kids heads they want to die inside they want their lives to end because they can't do shit. They're stuck getting anyway, gaslighted by family members and stuff. And but the thing is, I, I want to get to my point here. Even though it's so sad that those kids go through what they go through, they're dragging the whole damn class down. I don't care if you put them in special ed or not. When you shove people who have 
social problems like Asperger's or ADD in a class with those people, you drag those people down because it, those people who have social problems do have the capacity to learn. 100%. They have 100% capacity to learn. It's not that they can't learn, it's that they are socially inept. And so when you drag them down, you ruin their lives because then they're so far behind what the normal society is supposed to be. They can't catch up in a timely manner. And by the time they hit college, they're fucked. So what my mother and father realized was I was a smart learner because, you know, like I would sit there and watch Animal Planet and I'd read books and I was able to tell you everything about every animal in this, like, the system and every planet and everything else I was very bright but yet they were not teaching me the, the information I should have known to pass the FCAT so and the kids were violent and it was like living in a zoo so I what my parents did was they pulled me out in the eighth grade and they put me in Catholic school now, you don't have to put your kids in Catholic school if you don't want to. But if you put them in a, pub, in a private school, they will succeed. And, and so that's what they did. They put me in private school. And by the time I got into that private school, I was so far behind the school system for a private school. I was literally three years behind the curve. It took me, like... I got there and I, it took me like half a semester to cram three years worth of knowledge into my head. And I was fortunate to pass that eighth grade with a C. Now, once I had caught up to all that knowledge, I was set. I was good to go. And, and then when I got to high school, I was, um, you know, I was on track and I took, I went to Catholic high school. And then what I did is I studied my ass off, and I got on honor roll, and I got good grades on the SATs, which is a standardized testing, and those good grades on the SAT, guess what, got me my scholarship to go to college. And what does that mean? College means you get a degree. What does that mean? You get an easier job in life. Because these jobs that require college degrees, I'm going to be honest with you, they're not that hard, okay? Exactly. You just gotta keep your. You gotta. You just gotta get the paper, the and yeah, you just gotta study hard, and get the paper. And once you study hard and you get that paper, you're set. I mean, I've talked to people who have been managers, and I've talked to people who are business owners. They ain't that bright. They're not bright at all, okay? It takes determination in that stupid ass paper to get that job. Now. That is why I feel when you guys are told you guys are mentally handicapped, I get mad because I know that I was no. able to succeed. And I think that you guys yeah. can too. Huh? And we're, we're going to do that because you know what? I'm going to prove to my family when I move the fuck out and everything. First thing I'm going to do and I'm going to stick with this. I'm going to tell my girlfriend I'm probably going to possibly join the military with her as well. And we're going to do, do shit like this together. And and I'm gonna push myself to do shit like this. You know what? I'm not gonna let the world stop me because of a disability. ADHD is not a disability. I'm gonna keep trying. And you know what? I'm gonna prove to everybody Nate, wrong. Prove everybody wrong that I can have a goal in life. And I'm just tired and sick and tired of the shit that's been happening. That's the spirit. It ends now. You tell him, Ragna. Now. You tell him. Because the government thinks that. Yes, the kids that have, like, they can't do anything because they're handicapped. Well, do you want to know why? Do you want to know why they shove ADD kids and Asperger's kids into those classes? Do you want to know the real reason? Because those jobs require a specific degree to get. To get that degree, you have to go and get a specific degree, and those teachers who do those jobs get paid a little extra than the ones that do the normal teaching jobs. Why do they get paid extra? They get paid extra because they deal with idiots. I'm sorry, I hate to be nasty, but 
They deal with people who are literally not functional. Like, not... I don't mean that retards are idiots. I mean, like, they deal... I shouldn't have said idiots. That's not the right word. They deal with people yeah. who are... Have act, who are annoying as hell. What? Imbecitals could have been a better... Call. Yeah, I mean, like, people with ADD and Asperger's, they're not idiots. They're not stupid. When I say stupid, I mean, like, they, they have... It's not like they can't learn, okay? But because there isn't that many mentally retarded people in the planet, they lo run low on having jobs, meaning, like, they can't have the job as much. There's limited, you know, like, the, what I'm trying to say is they shove in people with ADD and Asperger's because... The more students they have in their class, the more likely they're able to have their job. If they don't have a certain quota, they fire that one teacher. And I know this because I took teaching as a minor. That's how I know. So... That's kind of bullshit. That's kind of bullshit, though. Oh, you don't have that much students, you're fired. That's why all the teachers get laid off. Because, because the school... Enough, uh, students in a class. Yes. yes. The school system is paid by, by our taxes, and the government sees it as, well, if there isn't enough people there, why should we be giving government funds to this? But they know that they have a need to teach retarded kids schooling. So instead of giving you your best chance as a student with Asperger's, they shove you with the bottom of the barrel with people who cannot function, people who cannot learn, and they shove you in there and they ruin your life. That's I I know that sounds terrible, but it's the truth, okay? If you get a student and you make them slow, you're making them slow. Not because they are slow, because you aren't. They make you slow because they don't teach you on track with what you should be knowing at a certain age. And that is why it's bad to be in the school system, the public school system. I don't recommend it for anyone unless you're going for a college degree and that's it. That's it. So do your kids a favor and don't stick them in the public school system until they're in college. You can, what you can do, I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm going to tell you a secret. Now this is gold. What you do is if you're poor, you go up to the church like, say there's a Catholic school. <coughs> All Catholic schools teach their kids very well. It's where doctors and lawyers send their kids because they know that this Catholic school system is strict. So they're, they're known for being best for education. You go to the, the, the priest of that parish and you say, Father, I really want my kid to have a good education where he could have a good moral upbringing. Use the word moral. Doesn't mean you have to actually mean you want him to be moral. Just use it there because he's a priest. The priest will say, oh, well, we really want your kid to join. You say, Father, I want my kid to go here, but I can't afford it. They will, the Catholic school system, will pay for your kid to go to school in a Catholic school. Why? Because this will help them bring in more students, more money, and also people closer to their church. You don't even have to go to the church. Just just say that that and and they in their mind they feel like they're doing work for God at that point. Because they're bringing cuz not only do they teach your kids religion, but they teach your kids world religion it means so they teach them about every religion so that way your kid can go to world religions class and decide from which one of those religions they want to be because they have to teach it because it's mandatory by the state that you teach your kids world religion because religion affected society with wars and stuff like that do you understand 
religion is what brought us, you know, all the different kinds of developments to our society. Not necessarily religious, but like, you know, it, it affected the world today. And I feel that, you know, I may not like right now how the people have treated me in my church right now. But I will never trade my education that I got from the Catholic schools. That education was wonderful. And going to a Catholic school, you are inspired as a student to be successful. Because you're with other students who are competitive. Because their parents are lawyers and doctors. So they're already competitive themselves. The parents. So what does that do? It inspires your kid to be competitive. And then when your kid becomes competitive, what does that do? It makes him get better grades, or her get better grades, and then they get scholarships, so that way you don't have to pay for college for them. And you provide them a good life. I think I'm gonna take your um, word for it, because you know what, you've known this, you've gone through a lot more shit than I have, and you have, it's funny, you have better advice than my parents ever gave me. <laughs> than them, and they're in their 40s and shit. And you're giving me better advice than, like, my dad gives me great advice because he's my dad. But you've given me more advice that I actually can in the real world as well. And I'm going to take it into consideration because what you're saying is true. That Catholic schools have a better success rate than normal schools themselves. Hell, you notice how badly normal schools' education systems have declined because they had to cut, pro uh, cut fucking classes and shit. Well, Catholic schools have enough money to keep certain classes that are necessary to graduate. Right. They put those extra yes, they have a couple extracurricular activities, but it doesn't cost that much because they do it as a group and everybody work, uh, pitches in and everything. Unlike the school where, oh, we're going to throw a fucking fundraiser that's barely going to do shit for our school and half the money goes to the fucking government anyway, except the um, Catholic school where when they run a fundraiser, all the money goes to the church and all that money at the church goes to your kids the, uh, more stuff for the Catholic school right like you know they they have fundraisers at the they'll ask for second collection at the church and they'll take that money to build another gym or a cafeteria or a football field and you know you may have you know a limited sports program or whatever but it doesn't matter what kind of sports your kid can fucking do Okay, what matters is how much information they can retain and what they could do for the information. Because, you know, I'll tell you another thing about the Catholic school. It was a mandatory prerequisite when I got into high school with Catholic school that you could not get any lower than a C. And if you did, they would make you come in every day after school with a tutor until you could get that C to a B. And that was good because if the kids did not do it, they got detention. And if they didn't go to their detention, they got suspension. And then if they didn't do that, they'd get expulsion. So, and, and like, also if they missed their tutoring lessons, no. They would not allow them to go to the school dances, play sports. They, they could not do anything. But in the, they were worse in the, when I was in um, the K through A program, meaning like, they call this middle school. For middle school, in the Catholic school, if you didn't even turn in your homework, you got a demerit. And a demerit was bad. They would give you yeah, chores with demerits. They would make, like, I remember one time, they made me take this broom thing. And they made me clean all the cobwebs out of this school. And this school was ancient. It was so old. It was, like, really old. It was, like, well over, like, 50 years old. So there was lots of it. Yeah, it was a really old school. And, like, we had to clean that. One time I had to pull weeds. Like, you know, and those kids learn. I mean, granted, it's not nice that they had to do that. But the kids learn quick to, to be on top of their duties. <laughs> And it taught them responsibility. And I'm not, like, you know, a mean type of person. But I believe in doing whatever is best for a kid to survive. And, but yeah, like, when I was in high school, um, they had this program. Once we got to our junior year, we were required to apply to a minimum of five colleges. 
and we were all required to apply for this scholarship called the Bright Future Scholarship. And we were all up required as students to do um, 20 hours of community service before graduation or we didn't get our diploma. And the reason why is because to get the Bright Future Scholarship, you had to have 20 hours of community service. So they used the 20 hours of community service required for the school and it said, okay, now that you got your 20 hours done, you could apply for this scholarship and you got higher than a B average. So guess what? Chances are, 9 out of 10, you're going to get the scholarship. And you're going to have either three-fourths of your school paid for or 100%. So they put your kids on a, on a fast track to being successful. So these are reasons why I like this. Huh? Say what, Cornelia? Yeah, they I never care. The yeah, the public school doesn't give a shit about their students. They just want to get the fuck out of there as soon as yeah. possible. Yeah. Here's the thing. My grades were horrible in high school. I remember that not that bad. They were pretty. They were pretty good. I I aced the tests. I could not do the the schoolwork inside that classroom though. Well, that's because they did not put you on a good study plan. See, you, you may have not been good with doing work, but they had plans for that in school. Um, what they would do would be like, okay, you're not good with work? Fine, we're going to take you, assign you to a tutor, and they're going to make you do your work. Yeah, they didn't do anything like that for my grade. They instead just pushed me up to the next grade. At least they push you up to the next grade, because in Florida... They just, if you even fail the FCAT, they will try to hold you back. They've tried to hold me back multiple times because I couldn't pass the FCAT, but I was doing good with classes. It's just like cutting out. You're cutting out, Carrie, a little bit. Can you hear me now? Severely at times. Can you hear me now? No, I can barely hear you. I have my volume up. Hmm. There we go, I can hear you. I had to turn on my volume a little bit more. I can, you can hear it, just so sometimes she's cutting out, like, severely. Hi, Noah. It's probably the Wi-Fi signal or something. Maybe. Yeah, but thank you, Carrie, for giving me all the helpful advice, because... I'm gonna tell this to my girlfriend, and she likes taking, uh, like, taking a bunch of good people, and I'm like, Carrie gave me a good plan for our friend, uh, for my, our children and stuff, and our future and everything, and I think I'm gonna take this into consideration, take this to heart, because, you know, not, none, of my, none of my friends have ever wanted to help me get my relationship on track, they just say, oh, it's an outer really, oh, it's the relationship, it's bound to fail, blah, 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 why should I support you, when you and my friend Vex have been there for me, and I thank you so much, Gary, for being the considerate mother figure, um, mother like figure in my life as well, and being there and supporting me, because, as I said before, to repeat myself, it's... It's kind of hard to find really good people that will stand by you to the very end. Well, of course, you know, like, I'm the type of person that believes in helping others reach for the stars, you know, to touch their dreams and live them. I don't believe in holding people back, um, and I will do whatever exactly. I can to There's help people. For it. Right, I'm that, like, I'm probably one of the few good Samaritans you'll meet. I don't, do you know what a good Samaritan is? I don't think so. Okay, so the story of the good Samaritan was there was a man that, you know, I, I barely remember the story, but the, the, the details exactly, but the main highlights of the story was there was a man who needed help on the road and he was stranded and he had nowhere to go. And he had no way to help himself. And every single person who could help him walked right by and did not help him. And so the poor gentleman 
the only person that would help him was the Good Samaritan. And in the end, that Good Samaritan was rewarded. And he was rewarded by, like, being granted a, basically, like, a ticket into heaven. But if you, if you look up the details of the Good Samaritan, you'll, on you know, you'll learn... You'll, you'll understand the story a little bit better. Basically, a Good Samaritan is someone who offers to help you and does so genuinely without expecting anything in return. Exactly, you help people and you don't care about a reward. Right. Seriously, I, like, I've helped people in the past and I didn't want anything from it. Like, I didn't really want a, like, Christina wasn't looking for a relationship at all and neither was I. And I was in a relationship at the time, but still, the thing is that oh, I was there for her, and, her, and I didn't want anything in return. And I got friendship, and that's the only thing I want, which is friendship. And she accepted that, and I'm like, I, you don't have to be my friend. She's like, but I'm going to because you helped me when no one else would, and you stuck by me, and blah, blah, blah. The thing is that if you help someone, those who don't help, help others can't help themselves. Right. So I'm going to tell that, you. I, I've I'm, learned this, and I followed this. I looked up the Good Samaritan for you, and I'll give you the overview of it. I found it online. The parable of the Good Samaritan is a didactic story told by Jesus in Luke. It is about a traveler who may have been a Jew who is stripped of clothing, beaten, and left half dead alongside the road. First a priest, then a Levite come by, but both avoid the man. Finally, a Samaritan comes by. A Samaritan was a type of person. Samaritans and Jews generally despised each other. So the guy on the road was a Jew, and this guy was a Samaritan. But the Samaritan helps the injured man despite him being a Jew. Jesus is described as telling the parable in a response to the question from a lawyer, and who is my neighbor from Leviticus, says should be loved. Jesus answers his question and who is his neighbor but also tells him to love his neighbor. And his answer corresponds with the words of the Gospel of Matthew to love his enemies. You basically love your enemy and you help your enemy regardless. Portraying a Samaritan in a positive light would have come to a shock to Jesus' audience. It is a typical is typical of his provocative speech in which conventional expectations are inverted. Some Christians, such as Augustine, have interpreted the parable allegorically with the Samaritan representing Jesus Christ who saves the sinful soul. However, this allegory, as unrelated to the parable's original meaning, and see the parable as exemplifying the ethics of Jesus. The parable has inspired poetry, films, and etc. The colloquial frame, Good Samaritan, meaning someone who helps a stranger, derives from this parable, and many hospitals and charities organizations are named after the Good Samaritan. Do you understand it now? Yeah. I think that's who, how everybody should be, and the Pope, um, our new Pope now, Pope Francis, has inspired many people telling people we should be the Good Samaritan. But a lot of us in this day and age are selfish and we forget to help one another. But you know something? Exactly. When, when you help people, you good karma people comes to you. you. Huh? Exactly. Exactly. It's like, if you see somebody, an old lady struggling with her groceries and nobody's sitting there helping and she's fumbling these bags, you would want a Good Samaritan, a douchebag would just not care and walk away, but I would walk up and help her, get her stuff in the car, and be like, she's like, do you have to pay, um, do you want me to pay you for help? I'm like, no, I, just helping you enough was reward enough. and then I give her a smile and tell her have a good day, and then just leave, knowing that I have a good feeling in my heart, that I helped somebody, and I was rewarded with happiness, and helping somebody that kind of do something, like, like they could themselves. So he's like holding the door open for people, you know, 
when they can't open it themselves. Right. Exactly. If their hands are full with like, groceries or something. Mm -hmm. Or they're the air just, you know. I, I would have to say for the thing because I don't know yeah. the nicer way to say it at the moment. To so say what? Looks like somebody just called me. I'm taking it. Man, it's a really good conversation, and Gary, you're just, you're a fucking gem. Like, seriously, out of, like, a lot of my friends, <laughs> it's, it's super, super fucking hard to find good people to this, and that's like you, Mike, Chase, and Christina, and my friend Vex, are, like, the only other friends that I actually talk to, and that really actually think I matter, and that makes me happy. Well, I'm glad that I made your day. I do like to make people smile. That's usually my ideal in life. Um, I'm glad I'm able to share some wisdom with you. I know that I'm only 26, but I've experienced life in the hardest forms, and I can help you if you need advice. I can help you because I've been through a lot, and... If you listen to the information I give you, you will learn some things. I mean, because I've made mistakes in my life, and I like to make sure that no one else makes those mistakes so that way they don't have to suffer. And I'd rather see you live a happy life and go through life learning from my advice and my, you know, what I've learned from my mistakes than you repeating the same mistakes that I've made. You know what I mean? Exactly. So. I'm. I'm just. Just fucking. I have no words. No words I can say can describe how thankful I am. Like, seriously, you've got me speechless. Which is really freaking hard to do when it comes to friends. Like, okay, they can do something amazing in a game that would make me speechless. Or something fucked up that would happen that would make me speechless. But when it comes to advice that people give me, like, I have nothing positive to say, I have nothing positive to say because I've already said it, and there's nothing else I can say to you that would make us even closer because you consider me like a big brother, a little brother, even if you're one year older than me, like several months older than me, but still, I don't think, like, you know, to put it in layman's terms, it's that... People who help others, like, you're helping me, and I'm going to take all this knowledge you gave me, I'm going to carry it to the heart, and I'm going to abide by it, because, you know, you gave me, you told me to do whatever I want with it, but I'm not going to disregard, discard this helpful advice that someone's given me. I can't get rid of this. This is something, this is pure gold, this is the diamond in the rough that I've been looking for all these years, even with, uh, like, you know, the help from my parents and stuff, and all the same advice they give me to the same shit every day, and it was stuff that I've heard over and over again, and it was like, a little, pe a little gold nugget that didn't really matter, but when it came to yours, yours was the diamond I've been looking for, and you pretty much inspired me to do stuff again, and I sit on my ass at home because, you know, it's kind of hard to get a job with the whole probation thing, and I'm not using it as an excuse, actually, that I pretty much, if I apply for a job, none of them are going to hire me because of the thing. Even if I worked in a factory, I don't think they're going to freaking hire a sex offender, blah, 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 and I don't like working in factories because, you know, it's just, I want a job, like, I should go into the military because one reason I have a better chance of getting a job if I have a, like, you know, a military background. Mm hmm And I don't care how many times my parents say, you can't because you're handicapped. I'm like, you know what, fuck you, I'm going to prove to you that I'm going to go into the military. When I get the fuck out of this house and I live with my girlfriend, we're going to apply for the military and she's going to help me study, like, no fucking tomorrow. And then when you see me coming home with medals and shit, and looking at the soldier, you're not gonna see me as a child anymore. You're gonna see me as a fucking man, and I'm gonna get the respect I totally deserve because I don't get it now. I never have. Now, I never would. I never have most of the damn time. My dad loves me. It's just 
sometimes my family, my step family. The only one who recognizes me for anything is my stepbrother John, and he lives like his room is like right behind me. Like I'm laying on the wall where his room is, and he's the only one that believes in me. And you know, when I get out of that military, all stuff, and I come home from this, and they see me come home. I'm like, I've seen some shit that I can't tell you. But the thing I can tell you is, you think it, you think you're so safe and warm and cozy in your house when I, I had to sit there in a five hour firefight, getting shot at for hours on end. And you know what? I had to deal with shit. You think working in a factory is fucking hard? Try to be infantry and run several of um, hours, several days through fucking desert, through jungle, through all this shit. You think working in what you do for a living is hard? It isn't compared to the shit the military will put you through. You'll go through hell and come back like a man. Some people fall apart, some people don't. And you know what? I'm gonna do this because it's something I have to do. I wanted to be in the military since I was a teenager, but my parents always talked me down and I didn't have anybody who believed in me except my friend Kate, oh my, except my friend Austin. He told me that I could get a job as a like a technician who controls the drones and stuff and do airstrikes and shit. I would just have to sit in a chair all fucking day doing drone strikes. That's all I had to do. I'd be in a safe little bunker somewhere in the middle of God knows nowhere controlling drones and killing people from afar. And you know what? I'm taking his words of wisdom because he's in the military. I have two medals that he gave me, even his little patch thingy, a sniper patch and a patch with his name on it. He inspired me to be in the military, and I'm going to take this words to heart as well as yours, that I'm going to do this I want. I was scared for Christina, but if we do this together, I won't be as scared anymore. I'm glad. By yourself is scary as hell, but having someone there to have your back is the best thing to do. Yeah, sometimes I wish that I had, like, you know, the correct just, parenting just and all that. And if I had gone, I mean, it was a good idea that my mother pushed no. me through Catholic school. And I wish I had gone through it before. But you live, you learn, right? No. Oh, I said that I wish I knew all this stuff before I had to experience it. I think that anything's possible if you put your mind to it. Personally, there's a lot of things I want to do too, but, you know, I'm given my it's limits. Kind of hard. Huh? Exactly. It's, it's kind of hard. hard for you after what you went through and shit. Right. I do have my game, but when it comes to real life, there's usually never second chances. You I mean, take it when that opportunity is not gonna the door, you answer it you no? And you just can't come back later for that opportunity. Exactly, because someone already could take it. You do it, you you have to. No? I mean I have my moments. Like me, I have three blood clots, so it's really difficult for me to breathe. I know it doesn't seem that way, but I'm trying, and it's, uh, it's, you know, very draining for me to, like, to do things, but I'm not letting it stop me from living either. I'm gonna have fun my last, you know, however long I have. 
And you know what? I'm gonna take that advice to the grave. Till the day they cover you up, I'm gonna remember everything that you told, and I'm gonna tell my children about it. There was a great friend in Gary, and they're gonna ask me what happened to the guy in the green box. Her house was declining. It was not longer the tall, much longer, and shit like this. And I'm gonna tell my children the advice that you gave me, and my kids will give that advice to their children. And I'm gonna carry on your legacy for you. Me and Mike and Jace will all carry your legacy. Well, I hope because so. Because you're a great person, and I'm not gonna let you, I'm not gonna let your dying breath go. No. Me too. What did he too. say? I can I don't want her to her. I am scared for her every day. I cry because I'm gonna wake. I'm gonna get a message. Yeah. No. It'll take a miracle for me to live through this, but you know, I'm gonna hold on to hope. Huh? As long as you have good as he said, miracles are meant to, uh, can happen and having good friends can give you the strength to push forward. You can make it through this if you have the right people. And you have us. We have BGs and Mike. The three best people that you've known Mike and Jace for a long time. I'm just new to you, but still I made a fucking huge impact when I got thrown into a situation that I had no idea what the fuck was going on, and then I calculated what was going on, and then I got what known was happening, and I stuck by you, even if I just met you. Either way, it's wrong for someone to start shit like that. And you know what? After the advice you gave me, Gary, you deserve to live longer than... Well, the doctors are known to be wrong, too. I'm gonna support this fight to the end, and I don't care. You're gonna live. You're gonna live till you're fucking like 80, and we're gonna make God <laughs> sure of it. I like how you're like, like 80. Until we're old and gray, and you know, we actually have to use those walkers for other reasons. No! We're gonna be having hover chairs or some fucking shit who needs walkers when I can hover around. A hover chair. You're funny. Yeah, I don't fucking cry and uh I'm getting emotional again. You're sweet yeah. right now. Tell me, why do you come like here, Volan? Why do you intrude you, on uh, my fine. meditation? Let me right so I don't take your hand. You, Carrie, and mm. Jace. Drem, patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. And you guys both have like By long with tradition, each other the and elder shit like that. speaks like, first. That doesn't define who we are. Hear my thoom. Feel it that in your bones. All, Match it if, one doesn't like if you the are that very much because of reasons. We're not gonna let that stop us from working together. Why do you intrude here if not for Tinvok? Exactly. Even if you and Jay's clap butt heads. Either way, you guys still love each other, and we're working to a common goal that you don't carry, that all you fucking care about. It's her safety, it's her health, it's her mental well-being. I swear to God, if me, me, days weren't there, Carrie would have done something stupid that day. She would have bust out crying, she would have done now, something really dumb. Show me what you can do. Treat me, not as Pelico, but as Dova. Not 
Or well, if I just stop taking my pills, I could. If I if I stop taking my pills, it will kill me. So I don't have to take pills to kill me. Because right now, if I don't take my pills, I'll die. So because my medicine, I have blood thinners, and it's what's supposed to try to thin down them clots to nothing. And if I don't take the blood thinners, the clots will go directly to my heart or my brain and kill me. So, I've actually, one night I was very upset at, you know, something Michael had Until introduction. Do not be afraid. Fast you. Let me feel the power of your soul. Yeah, the pacemakers hurt. Why do you delay? Are you Dover Keen or not? She's my big sister, and I'm gonna do everything in my power. If I could donate the money, I have $17,000 in my fucking bank account. And I wouldn't give a fuck. I'd get that money out of my account if I could. If it was in my jurisdiction, but if it's under my dad's control, I would donate the money to keep those blood clots removed and get you that surgery. Do not be so afraid. You can have your life back. Fast no. Yeah. Oh. Since I had the pleasure of speech with one of my own kind. I love you as a friend, and it's just. It's pathetic. So, <laughs> you have made your way here to me. No, no easy task for a jaw. Mortal. Even for one of Dover's source, Dragon Blood. What would you ask of me? You have so many burdens on your back, and you. Going and that's what I like about you. You don't give in. You didn't give up. Ah, I have expected you, Proda. That's true. You would not come all this way for Tinvak with an old Dova. No. My mom. Your weapon. She told me. She told me. I wish I had when I was younger, and she's given to me now, and I'm using it. I'll do I'm glad. Like what else what would you seek? I'll do it and Dover King return together. That's how you have to succeed in life. But I do you know, my mom. Know my mom, I used to think my mom was the smartest Curses. person in the world. It and then I told my mom to about me. what I had gone through since I was 18. Your kind, and she said, oh my gosh, she said, mortals, I could never go through a, a the fraction dome. of that. She said, if I even had to go through a fraction, my mom said she would have blown her own brains out. She doesn't even know how I've able to withstand all that I've been through. And it's not easy, I'll tell you that much. It's It's been hell. I try to focus on happy memories, and if I can't do that, then I try to make new ones, or I do things that make me happy, too. If you wish me to try answer to succeed, your question, but it's no, it's not mine. easy. Like I think, I think that yes, a lot of my problems have mean, happened to me because, um, I remembered I made a vow when I was little. So like when I was a little girl, as is so I wanted to be a nun with firstborn. because I loved the Lord so but much. Why? Why I thought He was so so sweet for bringing in all the beautiful sunsets and the flowers and the warm smiles to people's faces and I just loved God and so I wanted to devote my life to him up until I was about 12 and um, when I was young really young really little I read the life of St. Therese of Lisser her bi biographies and in her biographies she was offered two chalices by the Lord, and the one was the chalice of... Are you guys there? 
Would you stop the next world from being born? The phone call hung up. Hey, what happened? <laughs> To learn of the Did you guys hear what I said about the chalices? There is kind nothing of, else but philosophy to a Dova. Oh. It is no accident that we do battle with our Thun. I thought you were already hosting the call. No, you are. Oh yeah, why don't you host the call? Between debate and combat to a dragon. Teamvak Loskra. For us, it is one and the same. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Crosses. Now I will okay. answer your question. There we go. Hmm. Do you know why I live here? I hear you. At the peak of the Monaven. Oh what you name throat of the world? That's good. <laughs> True, but few now remember that this was the very spot where Alduin. So, as I was saying, ancient tongues. I read the biography of Saint Therese of Lisser, and she was a nun. And um, when she was a little girl, she wrote in her biography that she was offered two chalices, the chalice of. Having a comfortable life. If she drank out of it, she'd have a comfortable life. And the other chalice was to be a martyr for the Lord, to die for people's sins, and such. So she chose the chalice to die for people's sins, which meant that she would have had a hard life where she would have sacrificed herself to save others. And when I was little, all I cared about was helping others and, you know, honoring our Lord. And so I said if I had a choice between the chalices, I would pick the one that should be a martyr. And that's the cup that I picked. And I think, thinking back at it, um, I think that is the reason why I suffer so much now. Um, I think it's because... I chose that decision back then, and an I noticed that in her biography, she it suffered a lot too, exist, and before she was like 30 years old, she died existed. of like tuberculosis, but she suffered, she was mocked, she was belittled, she went through a difficult life, and I think that that may be why I'm suffering now, because I didn't do bad things or bad choices to get with what, to get what I had now. So, I don't know, like, personally, part of me really wishes that I had more time. That I didn't exactly make that choice so that I could do more for the world now. But I think that that, that is why I'm suffering. So, go ahead. So, not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever. Forever lost. Maybe. Maybe. I knew better. Teed ball I hope so. Time flows ever onward. One day he would serve. Say what? Which is why I have lived What'd you say, Michael? For thousands of mortal years, I have waited. I knew where he would emerge. What about it? Yeah, was it? Was it the debt, Isaac, that he was supposed to kill his son, Isaac? Yeah. I think so, yes. It's gotten a while since I've read the Bible fully. And it's funny how I remembered this shit and I barely went to church. I used to read the Bible on my past time when I was bored. I was just reading chapter Shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Teed Ahran, <laughs> the time You're funny, Michael. With the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to cast yourself back to the other end of the break. 
You could learn Dragonrend from those who created it. Croesus, no. I know little of what has passed oh below in the long years I have lived Mega here. On his arm and it shows the Mega you are likely better informed than I. Trust your instincts, Dovahkiin. Your blood will show you the way. Yeah, you can in uh, Dead Rising 3, you get Mega Return it here uh, to the Teed Ahran. The then, Hele uh, Vomindor. Nothing yeah, is certain yeah, with such things. Well. I made I a baseball bat that's similar to that in Ahran Dead Rising with the nails. A, a I have it in my shop. You could, like, literally smash people with it. And it's got nails and blood on it. No dragon rend in the power of its first expression. You will see them, Wuth Sadon, my friends, Haken, Is Saints Row fun? Yeah. The first mortals that I taught the Thum, the first tongues, the leaders of the rebellion against Alduin. They were mighty in their day. The oh I warned them. Yes. There were a few of but they I was far from I it was said to fall. They're all doing my part they're all wearing Megaman helmets. Like edited onto their Will I teach you, Dovakin? It is called force in your tongue. But as you push the world, so does the world push back. Think of the way force may be applied effortlessly. Imagine but a whisper pushing a Most men think with their penis. That is Fus. Let its meaning fill you. Sum Ark Mora. You will push the world harder than it pushes back. Which calls to you, Dovahkiin? Fus, Fime, or Yol? Fade in. Ponder the meaning of... That is fine. Let that meaning... F Which calls to you, Dovahkiin? In your tongue, the word simply means fire. It is change given form. Think of this. As the fire build, which calls to you, Dovahkiin? Vus, Fime, or Yol? Fime is what Fade fast? in your tongue. Mortals have greater affinity for this word than yeah, the dove. Everything mortal fades away in time, but the spirit remains. Ponder the meaning of spirit, Unslad Z, where mortal flesh Full, may be and, and fame. Die, what is that all the about? Spirit endures. That is fine. Let that yeah, meaning fill you. Soon, Arkmora, you will find that your spirit will give you more strength. No, it's this next gen one. Uh, it's the, like, I think Capcom is actually going to do something with Mega Man. And Dren it looks like something look. from, uh, like, Greetings. a new generation cartoon that might happen. And he looks pretty uh, epic, and everybody just wants to the fuck up about it. Like, seriously. They're still making fun of the Mighty Number no. 9 commercial trailer that just recently came out. Because, quote-unquote, it's like, it, they said something about, it. it's like an anime, uh, kid at Frog Night. And I'm like, oh my god, it was horrible. But I like the trailer, and now all the fans are like, they're dissing on it. It took several. It went I gold finally, listen. and the game's coming out next month, for fuck's sake. And they made it gold where it's gonna be on every platform, like computer, PlayStation 3, Xbox One, Xbox 360, 3DS, um, stuff like that for you. And you know what? It's just bullshit that people are being little bitches about a little joke. 
something seriously. Don't take it fucking, uh, don't take it seriously. Just stop bitching about it because you know what? It's just a game and it's just a trailer. Just suck it up. Bun Bun's like, yeah, suck it up. Suck it. Creepy, and then, and then Creepy's like, I want to make babies too, mommy, not till you're older. <laughs> Dragon blood burns bright within you. Did he tell you what you wanted to know? Did he teach you the dragon rend shout? What do you mean? It's a free it's the free so we can steam. If he believes it is necessary for you, to, we have never concerned ourselves with the screen. Uh, the gods from his computer has, and now, right? they may be able yes. to tell you something about the elder the school. Be powerful enough to play that. So, Take, Steam, Take your question to the college, Sunday. perhaps, okay, I'm, I'm, if the world is meant to end, the actual you game. No, perhaps uh, not, have you, the, one, the, one I've seen that the world like is that meant to end, we have felt the whisper Give me your map and I will show you where its echo can be found. Uh, man, was created like by those that, who had lived Gary, under the unimaginable cruelty you and of our dream. Their whole life, when you learn oh, a shout, why? in order to learn it's and use this you shout, know, you will be taking this. The right, like they carried out a genocide of pride and the voice. Although this gift has all in the contemplation of the sky, Kinnereth's domain, the practice of the body, the strive to achieve, the drag, we therefore seek all true men in the contemplation of the sky. That may be what you want. Perhaps we will have dragon allies against him. Like, he was a great guy. Jordan Windcaller's mastery of the voice eventually overcame all the thoughts I thought you were against it. I'm like, well, the way my friend Carrie voice. gave me some household advice, and I think I could join it too, because she had my girlfriend has PTSD and a bunch of fucking. I had PTSD too. Yeah, she passed the psychological exam and the physical exam. So she is capable of doing it, and so am I. If we join the military together, I just want to get off the subject after this. But you know, I'm going to do this because it's it would be great for our children. We'll have a college. We'll have money for their college when they get out of school. I'll get out of the Catholic school. They'll be able to go to college, and the church will pay for the college. But it would be it would be you know extra money for my kids' future. For them to get a house and stuff like that, for them to have a future when we're old and having, I'm having dick trouble. I have to take a pill to get it up. I heard dick trouble, what? I'm having dick trouble to get it up. Yeah. Because, uh, erectile dysfunction. You have erectile you know, back dysfunction? back then, they, you want to know when something's fucked up, it's really, really, really stupid. That back then, they had this thing that would strap your waist and would it fucking electrocute your dick just to get it up if you're gonna get it up it helped for male uh, impotence it would actually zap your dick and it would be right it's a kind of punishment for your penis i you seen that thing didn't you no i've never have i've never i've never heard of this till later okay okay watch watch matthew santoro and go through one of his videos i think it was the most weird medical practice is how there was one that was the closest they would take this little thing and they stick up your butt and smoke in your ass. I'm fucking serious. It's hilarious. I gotta find it. That is true. It's great. Oh my god. Wait, I'm fucking serious. It's all true. You look up all that way right in. Do I have to bust me? No, you don't. What's your username? Um. Let's see. Who's? Uh, That's gonna be fun to find. Actually, it's R E N G A I A then S O A A D O N. It's all space and lowercase. I'm gonna have a picture of like this on my little pony character that I'm a mind fucking no fun. It's not one of the most.
another one. Like seriously, there was a lot of them. I was going through the pandemic humanity. I'm like, <coughs> I'm gonna have the fist of justice, the oh, fist of judgment, the fisting of judgment. But um, I didn't want that. There, I added you. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, play a game here. I want you to read the name of it. Same game, no cue. Fun one is gonna pick up a gun and shoot it at the bad guys. Okay. You were gonna actually attach a fucking rocket thing to like a jetpack onto the goat and just fling it into people. Should I just, attach a jetpack on the bun bun. Forgive me. Most who arrive here do so. This is the College of Winterfell. A safe haven for mages, perhaps. But what is it you expect to find within? I'm going to sit there and watch every single season of Twilight Zone, the original black and white series, because I love the Twilight Zone. Humor is often in short supply, but I sense that perhaps you're after more than just that. 
It would seem that the college has what yeah, you seek. Go, okay. The question you now is, that. what can you do the world the Not just anyone is allowed inside. Those wishing to enter must show Bounty some degree killer. of skill with magic. Break. A small Break. test, if you will. You know, I think you're Blood right. I think you'll be a superb watch. addition to the college. Welcome, Apprentice. I'll lead you across the bridge. Once you're inside, you'll want to speak That's with Mirabel Irvin, like our master wizard. 12, Please, follow me. Sin City was an amazing fucking movie. Uh, I remember watching the first Sin City. Braveheart was great, too. Did you read the game title yet? Star Trek to Penta Venice! The college is an asset discovery. Man, it takes some uh, NPCs forever to walk. Yeah, I mean, because that bridge is so narrow and they usually follow their desk. I believe I've made myself rather clear. <laughs> yes. I have many important things. What happens if an NPC falls? And then what, so then you can't complete those missions, or what? Um, depends on if they're marked essential or not. Oh, the man with the iron fists, too. Oh, God, the first I don't one want to see fucking you. gory. You are now in the Arcanium, of which I yeah. am in charge. Yeah. Yeah. It might as well be my own little plane of oblivion. This rubs my Arcanium, and I will have you <laughs> torn apart by angry astronauts. Now, do you require assistance? Well, you know, they had to have some sort of samurai in there. And what do you plan to do with it? Do you even know what you're asking about? Or are you just someone's errand girl? That would have... For some reason, I'm not sure why, but this sounds like an interesting game. I knew it. What? Everyone comes in here expecting my help, but they don't even have the proper questions. An Elder Scroll is... To read an Elder Scroll, a person must have the most rigorously trained mind, or else risk madness. Even so, the divines usually take the reader's <laughs> sight as a price. You make your own bunny, you can make your yeah. own bunny, you make floppy, and creamy, and you like a massive green family. Yeah. Put him up. Put him up. Yeah. It would take a month to explain to you how that very question doesn't even make sense. The scrolls exist here, with us, but also beyond and beneath, before and after. They are bits of divine made substance, so we could know them. Sorry. I wish he didn't put that scrolls, stupid light on over there. end up in irritating and vague metaphors like that. Some people who study them devoutly go mad. Ah. You think that even if I did have one here, I would let you see? It would be kept under the highest security. Yeah, you also, you the know, greatest thief in the world wouldn't be able to lay a finger on it. Of course. Of the, uh... I'll bring... So don't get your hopes up. It's mostly lies. Oh God, they have the South As a matter Park of fact, awesome. he holds himself up in Labyrinthian and devoted all his time to research and study. Tonight. But more than you would I'm imagine possible. Since then, his... I've heard whispers of more of its work having turned up. I'm gonna talk if to you guys and watch assorted a books, movie. If you hear scrolls, me laugh like a retard, I'm sure you'll find something online. useful.
roast and hell fall, <laughs> roast and hell falling together. Uh, it, it's a joke on Ghost in the Shell standalone complex. Ghost it's roasted. It, it's, ro- it's roasted in the hell all together. Simple last retreat. <laughs> Could set up first assault. It's just one of them ones that you know. I can literally just make this anything. Oh god, this movie's gonna be great. I have a feeling it's animated too. Uh, what type of movie is it? Hell and back. It's an it's an animated movie. It's kind of like that fucking sausage party thingy, but it's all animated. The sausage party thing is all animated. Yeah, as well. <coughs> in in non Steam game, anything. I have so many iron daggers, holy. is only as good as what he knows. Fun fantastic to make sure adventure. <laughs> Where she steals a new carrot. She's like, mm, it's easy. Have come and gone during that time, but it's I'll shake my bun buns for you. <laughs> Playboy Blenny. <laughs> you know it. Of course I She's like, you want to see my boobies? Shake them titties. You would never be able to look at a bunny again after you see my I bunnies. Is that what they're saying? No, Until I next feel like time. if they were saying shit like that, they would be I don't want to see you treating like, any of these books like, poorly. If you don't Are we clear? The bun bun for a, you can get the fuck out. Yeah. Or bun bun will spit in your eye! That's <laughs> out! Spit in your eye uh, and fuck you anally with no condom. <laughs> And she'll like be like, mm, eat it. Mm. <laughs> okay, I did that way too well. And Mike's like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I make that noise, I'll take. I'll take this little one, and I'll 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 get by mine, and I'll go like this. I'll go, and she go. Oh my god, you got electrocuted. And and like every time I do that, my roommate can't stop laughing because he thinks it's funny because I'm making the bunnies lick each other. Creamy's like, mmm, milk time. Sex 
guys remember that, uh, his, that bartender in the movie, Deadpool? Yeah. So cute. That, 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 yeah, that guy's awesome. I love T.J. Miller. He's fucking great. He was meant Until for next time. shit like that. Like, seriously. That's why he's in this movie. And this movie came out way before Deadpool. Yeah. <laughs> the one thing Deadpool did make up for was the travesty that, that happened at the end of uh, X-Men Origins. If you're feeling adventurous, I'm always looking for someone to procure valuable from books from some more dangerous... Well, all right, yeah, that here. That I scribbled down bigger. the last place I'd heard about. <laughs> yeah, Check I it like out, but be careful. I, was trying to, I waited for, for somebody to get... I have a few right things right. laying around that weren't worth adding to the collection. You may look through them. And nobody else got it but me in the movie theater. And then when I got home, and I even told them about it, nobody got it when we got Until the next time. And I'm like, are you... Hundreds of years have gone into a sibling, and what do you plan to do with it? An Elder Scroll to read, even so, the Divine, the simple, it, but at the same time, all of it is true, even the falsehoods. It would be kept under the highest, would have, so don't get your hopes up. And what do you plan to do? You think that even if I, it would be kept under the highest security? I don't know who like told Deadpool you that. I'll bring it. Like so don't get your hopes up. It's mostly lie. And what do you plan to do with it? Fucking blades that look like katana's coming out of his goddamn arms. Even so, the divines <laughs> usually <laughs> take the reader's <laughs> sight. And have bad shit Sorry, talking about the, the simple. Yeah. It's a, Just remember, but at the same time, all of Deadpool it is true. Asked. Even the false words. Oh, wait, that's just ah, the sound of my brain you think healing. that it would be kept under the highest security? That game the was greatest awesome. thief in the world. Of course, uh, I'll bring. So don't get your hopes up. It's mostly lies, leavened oh. with rumor and conjecture. I like, I like the Deadpool Fight game. Well. It was actually a lot of people said it was overrated, Here but you I didn't go. really give a fuck what they said about it. Try not to it spill anything on them. Well, here's the thing: fourth wall and a fourth wall. I like breaking sixteen walls. Oh, walls. <laughs> Can't wait for the sequel. Yeah, you, you know what's gonna happen. Yeah, because Ryan Reynolds. And, and, they're, gonna, and they're gonna, you know. I don't want to see you treating any break, of these. Break, break, you need a book? Walls. You talk to me. I. That's the work of. He's the. You know he's been gone for a long while. Somewhere up. He said he. Uh, haven't heard from him since. That's gonna be a little bit awkward. Yeah. Hundreds say, of years have gone into assembling this collection. It's going to stay pristine, understand? Don't pull, don't pull them out, please, because you're going to ruin the experience of the movie for me. I've already seen it. I just don't like hearing the negativity of a movie because it'll make me think about it. And then it's it's not it's not it's not really negative. It's just it's, it's a difference from from the comics. It's not anything to do with his healing factor or anything like that. It's what his girlfriend does at the end. So it's kind of like an alternative timeline. Welcome like to what the does it, His girlfriend died in the alternate timeline. Uh, in the first, no, in the first timeline, the girlfriend. Uh, if I remember right, in, in the first timeline, the original Marvel one, the girlfriend could not handle him looking like that because he was so hideous. And so she yeah, the, yeah, I remember he, he left him, and then that made him go fucking insane. Well, anyways, in this one, she, you know... It wasn't that bad. It could have been. Yeah, I, I, it wasn't I was, worse. I wasn't... I'm not gonna say it's bad. I was just saying it's, it's different in continuity. It's Welcome sort of like how Star Wars moms have different continuities compared to others. And then you get crap that has severe continuity issues that don't even make sense. Like, Ender's game. I hate to say it, but Ender's game was not faithful to the movie. It was not faithful to the book at all, at all. It really sort of pissed me off. If you're gonna make something...
Hey, what happened? I don't know. I don't know, you just dropped out. Yeah, you just dropped out. I'm not going to bed. I'm not even tired. You know what I'm going to do the fuck with you? Just say I liked it, but I'm not going to. Because it's probably crap, and I, 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 I take your word on it. I take leave. It's completely different from, from, the, from the book. It's, it, it, it is literally just completely different from the book. The funny thing is, the hilarious thing is that I, I really like the movie, I really like and I don't think anybody else liked it besides me, it was Battle Los Angeles. I really no, loved it. it was, no, LA was a good, goodish movie. I want, I want it. It was, it was, it, it was an interesting movie. Battleship, though, that was the worst game I did, that game ever. <laughs> okay, that movie wasn't that bad, alright? My dad fucking enjoyed it, so did I. Who gives a shit? They were for fighting fucking aliens. Who gives a shit? It's Michael fucking Bay. Suck a D. I, 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 that was my whole joke there. Oh. <laughs> they were they were not faithful to the game the whole time. They should have been saying, "Hey, eleven, you suck my banshee." That would have been like a five second movie, not even. You would have two fucking action figures in the co-stars for fuck's sake. Playing a game. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 no, it'd be more like fucking Army and Chief. Oh, Army and Chief. I haven't seen that in five years. Yeah, I remember watching all of it. It was super popular. Hell. Hell, yeah, Red vs. Blue was super popular as well. I'm gonna get caught up by the government. Covered in mac and cheese. Drives into her driveway. Goes and takes a shower, takes her clothes off, put in a thing in the washer, and eating mac and cheese. Well, wait, where the fucking walk and her shirt was completely white. I'm like, wait, go Rooster Teeth. You sold me on a tie commercial. That's a first. Uh, I... If Rooster Teeth can do it, so can you. Trademark. Yeah, I'd say. I'm, I wonder, like, I know that they went somewhat animated for the for season 14 of. Yeah, um. Uh, what's of his name? Um, uh, yeah, Monty. Who who passed away from a sur oh, during surgery? He was doing the animation and things for him because he did things like Hayloid and Dead Fantasy, where it was dead or alive characters versus like Final Fantasy characters. And he worked on Ruby for a long time. And the team of Ruby, uh, team of Ru uh, the Ruby team actually helped with is continuing his legacy after he passed away. Is continuing Ruby, where it's actually they got Jet Taylor to voice act. One in the green, the green, all the green, 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 the Can you guys still see my stream? Yup, just watched you hit a forker. Apparently it was a headshot even though it hit him above the head. <laughs> I, I would suck if that, that would be like the worst blowjob to get by a worker. Like seriously, just drive it into your ball sack like that. Ow. <laughs> have you, have you ever played Morrowind and seen how fucking terrifying they look? Their mouths look like fucking clawed vaginas. Fucking yeah, seriously, I, I, they look like they're humping the ground when they're coming at you. <laughs> I ruined and I ended up getting the ice armor, which is pretty much still around. Oh, oh god, Solstheim was so much fun. The funny thing is, I swam the fucking Solstheim. I'm fucking serious. I went through the go go Sea of Ghosts and I swam there. My friend saw me for like an hour, like 20 minutes or so. He's like, are you almost there? I'm like, I get there, there's a bear waiting for me. I'm like, die! And then you die. What does the Sea of Ghosts look like? The Sea of Ghosts is pretty much an empty ocean with these weird crab creatures and no fucking water and crap and it's just pure fucking it's just empty. Mm -hmm. Although occasionally rumors of a ghost appears. That's why exactly. it's called the Sea of Ghosts. Exactly. And what, what does the ghost do? Nothing. It goes it goes bad. Because they misread it instead of it being the Sea of Ghosts, it should have been the Sea of Goats. <laughs> 
Like, what do they do? Like, do they t attack you or something? You, you don't get attacked by as, as, um, um, ancestral ghosts in certain dungeons and stuff. And they're fucking annoying because you can only use, like, silver weapons or magic weapons on them because you're not normal. Your normal weapons don't do shit on them. Yeah, I remember that. That was annoying. But see, they also had things like they had weapons that, that were completely OP at times. No shit, some of their shock weapons were fucking insane. And if you, if you stat padded, aka use the console commands, you could just, you know, pretty much one shot everything with nothing more than your fist. Do you yeah, have to I go did. through the sea of ghosts, or is there anything, like, special? No, you can, you can take, no, you have to take a boat. You can take a boat. You talk to this guy, he'll take you, oh, take you on a boat, or a stilt strider, or some shit like that. Oh. Which is a giant fucking bully, pretty yeah. much. Uh, has, seen, has seen the Silk Striders. There's only one in Skyrim after the events of fucking, after the Great Mountain, of uh, the Red Mountain exploded in Marwind, and, like, half a fucking soul sign got covered in ash. I know, but do you get anything up. special through going through the ocean if you're swimming? No, no. It's just, it, it was just a challenge for him, pretty much. Yeah, hell, I was playing the computer version, and I, I had a sword. And it would talk to me, it's like, oh, it'd be like, you have to fuck shit up. And I'm like, yeah, let's go, Wee! Thank God I wasn't, thank God I wasn't, like, you know, like, the morning star the thing from, uh, Borderlands 2. If but you were I a bad shot, you wouldn't need to reload. Yeah. Well, he, on the cosmological oh, scale. God. How I hit a weapon every time I fire, it'd be like, ah! In the oh, have you heard of like, like, yeah, the of so but not yeah, all you can't even run with that thing you walk fucking I remember just that the thing was loud as fuck and he very know annoying the deep the deepest doors and then there was the morning star the world, the do oh, now you're just the lexicon if you this were finished then yeah, you wouldn't need to reload but sounds like a nagging ass wife I never wanted or not wanted. even the strongest yeah, magic it's a very good gun but the sometimes problem is you, it did that all the sometimes time sometimes they even look up if you headshotted somebody what do they see then? What yeah, if they like, dive in? in the head, you had a family, go then fuck the madness begins. I can probably find a thing with all their, with all the, uh, things. Oh, I got a Skyrim song that I have to sing, you guys. I, it, I'll, I'll find the link. Hold on, I gotta open that thing in. I, it was a song I've been looking for for months. Actually, I've been re-trying to find it again. I downloaded it by random on a website. How long and I never sung? thought I'd find it. My feet were set upon the rock. But it you gotta watch to Skyrim Bell too. Oh my god, that was fucking great. Fucking, he's getting a blowjob by a bunch of fucking wenches and he puts Rodaz at the whorehouse and it just explodes, <laughs> killing everything. Oh god. And there, there's a part where a bunch of uh, Budcraft pitches him in a deck and he just sucks. It licks the pains and smokes the glass. Oh god. And the mud crabs. Aviana has mud crabs. This? Where are you reading this? Uh, the Borderlands wiki for the Morning Star. Oh. Which is which is a sniper rifle on Borderlands 2. That talks. Someone, someone is now an orphan and doesn't know it yet. <laughs> 